guest today with Jason Lee. He's the owner and founder of uh, Hollywood Unlocked. We had actually a pretty good time. Like we, we had a good conversation about like three hours. So that will be dropping tomorrow. It'll be on YouTube and it'll be on, you know, um, Spotify and everywhere else. Okay, cool. Is everybody online? It looks like it is. <laughs> Salute to the Hennessy, man. Poor. I'm going to do. I'm a, I'm already off some Don Julio. You know I'll be mixing, and, and that'd be a dangerous combination. I'm going to pour up about this amount of Henny. I'm not going to go too crazy tonight. I think this will work, right, chat? This will work, right? So once we talked about Nikki, yeah, we slandered her. No, we didn't slander her. <laughs> we talked about her, though. <laughs> we talked about everything, honestly. Truth be told, you know? Uh, yeah, yeah, hey, listen, sir. We're going to get into a lot of things. <laughs> Somebody says, yo, you came back. No, of course I came back. Boom, what's up with you, bro? All right, chat. I'm going to keep it 100 with y'all. Where we at right now on YouTube? Okay, YouTube's getting online. I know this is late. I'm not going to waste our time tonight. We're getting straight to the shit. I ain't wasting your time tonight. Trust me, okay? I know it's late. I know some of y'all got work. I know some of y'all still studying for midterms. I know some of y'all got exams. I'm know I i going to value your time tonight. Don't you worry, okay? Uh, let me see where we at. Oh, YouTube just got online. I right, bet. It's all good. All right. Um, Listen. I'm going to do this. I think up top up there, that spooky October thing. I think that's a sub. I think the sub count is only for Twitch though. Hey, listen. When I say shit like this, you already know I'm trying to go in. Listen, y'all give me ten subs and we starting off hot, man. Let me get the first body out of the way, man. I, I, I somebody got to put some respect on my motherfucking name, man. Ten subs comes come in. I'm about to go crazy on somebody. Actually, I'm gonna keep it light, really, because this person can't really. They're not really built for like me really going in. So I'm gonna keep it really light. But I think even the light shit gonna really offend them. But we 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 don't get there. We don't get there. Chat was cracking with y'all, man. I'm in here. We got a lot to talk about. A little bit more YNW Melly. Uh, we're gonna react to some videos. Uh, Annoying TV. We talked about him getting robbed in Toronto. He put out a video. We got some sexy red shit to get to. We have a bunch of other topics that's been floating around. We probably didn't get to. We're going to get to it soon. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Somebody said, "Get the strap now." It's not. It's not too. It's not too crazy. And also, the reason why I kind of want to be a little bit measured in what I do is because. <laughs> Yo, look, yo, look at this nigga. Yo, hey, the war omega and death.com. Salute to both of y'all. I said 10 subs and y'all niggas donated instantly. <laughs> uh oil skull, come on, bro. He just gave times. All right. I'm gonna just get into it real quick. This is nothing too. I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. And drill, you can start clipping from here. I'm gonna keep this very light. Just because, and I welcome this person to ever say my name again, I will never be this nice. I'm going to give you a very light spanking today, okay? And this light spanking is because I pity you, okay? I don't want to continue the narrative. Listen, by the way, it's a woman. So that's another thing. So I'm like, bro, like, yo, y'all women to be talking about me knowing that when I say something about y'all, it stings a million times more, okay? Now, uh, let me, uh, let me, let me... Let's get get over to TMZ real quick. Actually, let me, let me try to find her real quick. I just want to give this chick a real spank. Because this chick's out a lot. And shorty, I wish your man was around because your man could have said something. And I'll, I'll talk about him too. It's fine. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Uh, yeah, here we go. So, there's some chick named Mariah the Scientist. Really don't give two fucks about her, but... um. You know, apparently while she was at LAX or whatever, paparazzi runs up on her asking about the sexy red video that got leaked. And I guess the paparazzi brings up my name in terms of, you know, I sent out a couple of tweets talking about sexy red video got leaked. And I seen this. Uh, uh, I didn't even hear it yet. I want to hear it on stream. But from what everybody told me, uh, 
she has some words for me. And you know, sure, you ain't gonna have words for me without me having a lot of words for you. So let's see how this goes. <laughs> As a fellow artist, obviously Sexy Red was incredibly violated with that video. Yes. Do you want Somebody said she's not famous yet. We'll make her famous tonight, all right? Think she should By the way, I know her for being the chick who was performing and nobody was clapping or looking away at the Raw Wave concert. I was there. I was watching her like, you know what I mean? I don't think she's that. Hold on, let me get into it. A lot of people think she should take legal action. A difficult predicament considering it's if that might be her man you know so yeah. it's like i guess it depends on what she's comfortable with dj academic said that she needs to level up and 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 not be with better guys is that better fair for women though to, to kind of then put it back on the fault of a i woman? think academics should stay out of women's business yeah is what i think yeah i think he should mind his business yeah, yeah. do you feel like your morale the sciences man this is going to be the last time you mention my name. I'm going to make sure this is a fact, okay? First and foremost, let me just say this very point blank serious to you. You shouldn't be even speaking about me. I'm surprised they even found your ass at goddamn LAX, okay? Between the two niggas who basically put you on, because you ain't nothing but a pretty face and with, like, a decent voice. Don't get it gassed up. You ain't no motherfucking Beyonce, okay? Calm your little silly ass down, all right? Now, let me give you and spit the ether to you, all right? You're everywhere and you're talking about me. I wasn't talking about you because I don't even think you're that relevant. But here's the thing. Here's the place you need to be. Not at LAX, okay? You need to be at that fucking courthouse at Fulton County. Ain't your man, Young Thug? We ain't seen you at one bond hearing yet. Where you gonna get there? Are you gonna get there or are you gonna be like them bitches that was fucking with Gunner before that and go to the court hearing? Are you gonna get to one of those court hearings? By the way, oh, never mind. You got signed, and I think you're signed to one umbrella gang, and I'm going to keep it light because I fuck with Tory. But I don't think you went to one fucking court hearing for his either. So again, while you run around trying to chase relevance, don't ever mention my name. This is the lightest spanking I'm going to ever give you. The next time, it won't be so pretty. Okay? Get to Thug's Bond hearing. You are signed by Tory. You ain't show up to one motherfucking trial date. I cover the shit and see more interested in you, and he put you on. Okay? Just keep that in mind the next time you mention me. Because I I get dirt on chicks like you just for when you open your dirty, filthy mouth and mention me again. Don't ever, ever. This is the lightest I'm going to ever give it to you, shorty. Okay? But if you do want, and by the way, I don't give a fuck which thug nigga is your boyfriend. Don't mention me. And don't be having no shade or no type of hint of disrespect when you mention me. Okay? Or, you know, I know a lot of people say, well, you know, act, you keep picking on females. You can tell Thug to mention me. I don't give a fuck. But you, that's the business you should be minding. Not talking about me. Get your ass to Fulton County Jail. You should be over here trying to sneak a motherfucking cell phone in your snatch to Thug. You should be over here putting it work. You feel me? Your music ain't popping like that. Thug put you on, Tory put you on. You ain't show up to not a one motherfucking court here. And until you show up to then, I will not be listening to your ass again okay don't mention me again all right that's the lightest spanking i'm gonna give today but we are here people this that, that was a pre that was the pre-crash out it was you know it's some light i gotta just give her the warning um by the way i don't really care about it and i don't hate her but i just had to you know it's tit for tat the reason why i won't go in too much is because if i really do what i do you're gonna cry facts you're gonna cry and and it's not gonna people are gonna be like i'm picking on you so i'm giving you a light spanking i'm moving on i won't even diss you again Unless you say something else, which I will. All right. So get Mariah the scientist the fuck out of here, man. All right. By the way, Mariah, Mariah the scientist. I think the people were saying they were fucking with Jericho more than you. Didn't you come and try to steal her man and shit like that? Listen, you know me. I'm a nigga, but I could get all the way in the dirt with y'all hoes. All right. So please keep it cute when you ever fucking mention my name. Keep singing them little whack ass songs you'd go on stage and sing. And when you hear DJ Academic's name, just say no fucking comment. Okay? Okay. All right. Um, chat, I'll go into to one of my faves, Sexy Red. Hey, chat, let me tell you this. If you wonder, like, your act, why sometimes you be going in or, like, you know, I told Jason Lee this today. I got to make an example out of these artists. Because when they talk about other media personalities, they don't be playing like that. Oh, niggas need to mind their business. You wouldn't say that to Charlemagne because your bitch ass trying to get up to the breakfast club. Don't talk to me like that neither then. Okay? 
Talk to me like your elder. You a little girl. I will son the fuck out of you. There ain't nothing you got I don't got. There ain't nothing. My, you're not even that lit. <laughs> like, the fuck is you talking about? Don't let me embarrass you, okay? You the chick that really, you are more looks than talent. If you really want to get serious. Mariah the scientist, you're more looks than talent. Somebody tell me I'm wrong. You made more headlines for who you fucking than actually what you singing. What you talking about? You want to talk about it? I will talk about it today. You don't want to talk about that shit. Because I'll embarrass you. And I'll be making you cry and cry to your big homie or cry to some other street nigga who gonna hit me like, ah, right, chill, man. She's not, yeah. Don't mention my name no more, shorty, all right? Let's keep it like that. All right, uh, let me go to my ratchet queen, which is uh, Sexy Red. You know, me and her, we don't got no beef. But we all know that Sexy Red's, oh, damn. Let me zoom out a little bit. Pause. Hey, we all know that Sexy Red's uh, sex tape got um, exposed. I don't believe that she's she was a part of leaking it at all. You know what I mean? And by the way, if you wonder what my commentary was about that, um, I, you know, I don't have a problem with Sexy Red. I support Sexy Red for what she is. I think Sexy Red is the epitome of what a lot of what female rap has turned into. Female rap is prostitute rap. So if you see the worst elements or the most extreme elements or the most radical elements like a Sexy Red where women are bragging about the STDs they got, women are saying they're the raw dog queen. You know where that comes from? That comes from you liking songs like, you know, with all due respect, I love Cardi B, but she put out a song called WAP. Like, if women are running around talking about this wet-ass pussy, there's somebody that's going to say, oh, fuck all that wet-ass pussy. That's light. I'm about to show them the wet-ass pussy and my pussy pink, the booty brown, even though that was not the case, but it is what it is. Anyway, Sexy Red addressed uh, the video that came out. I told you. You know, after we, we did a thorough investigation of that video that came out, first of all, we believe is revenge porn. So we don't agree with it. We believe she's fucking with some lower, some really bottom feeders um, of the industry. I, not even of the industry. She's fucking with bottom feeder hood niggas. And I'm going to just be honest with you. She's way too lit to be fucking with people with nothing to lose. As you grow up and as you go forward in life, you, the ultimate challenge most of us is going to face is to try to find a partner that has equally enough to lose as you. You know why that's important? They're not going to get into a mudslinging contest. When somebody don't got nothing to lose, they're doing expose, exposés. I'm going to expose you. You know why the motherfuckers expose a person A exposing person B? Because person A don't got nothing to lose. They don't care if they're shame. They don't care about shame. They don't care if they look bad. They're just trying to capitalize off person B's fame, right? And um, unfortunately, you know, I think a lot of dudes, we learned that lesson. Yo, if you're dealing with, with you know what I mean? Like, shit, I used to be the fly king. I'm flying chicks out, blah, blah, blah. You know what they all did? They exposed me. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, it, again, you get to realize you have to have some type of responsibility. And that's that's the advice I was trying to give to her. You know what I mean? I've been through it. And again, I'm, this, is not, it's, this is not something where I'm trying to bring her down because we all learn this. Sexy Red, who's, I think she's real authentic. I think she's a dope person. I don't have to agree with her ways. And I'm just not going to pinpoint her. And th 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 that's my only thing with Sexy Red. I'm not going to pinpoint her. I see her like Nicki Minaj and Cardi B. Maybe you don't think she's as attractive. Maybe you think she's she's icky or like she got like an STD. Bro, I don't give a fuck what you think. They're rapping about straight debauchery, whoredom. She's doing it too. She's just look like she's living it. I'm sorry. I'm just not going to be a hypocrite, right? Um, however, I do think she should upgrade with the amount, uh, the, the type of people she deals with. And I sent out a couple tweets basically saying, hey, listen. I know you love fucking with like niggas on house arrest, but how about you fucking, you know, just kind of upgrade your taste? Because at this point, while you're still trying to be real, these men are trying to take advantage of you. Like, you know what I mean? A dude went live with her laying on the bed for literally 40 viewers just to show that he had sex with her, which is like, dude, you know what I mean? And, and, and that's another thing, too. Like, put it like this. If you're the guy fucking sexy red, Drake is gifting her $200,000 worth of gifts. $50,000 watch, give her cash, blah, 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 blah. She's getting all these type of things. If you're the nigga that's fucking Sexy Red, you know what you want to do? Chill in the cut. Anything Sexy Red gets, you'll probably be a byproduct of it. So these niggas trying to do the clout thing, it kind of just reemphasizes that everybody's chasing fame. And a lot of times, most of these motherfuckers, they really want fame more than the money. 
Because if you're fucking sexy red, I'm pretty sure like she got it now. She's gonna be like really um it, uh funny Marco, thank you for the the ten subs. I don't know if that's real funny Marco, but I appreciate you, brother. And by the way, Astro um Wolves, thank you for the five. Joy Man, thank you for the five. Damn, oil school, thank you for the ten. These are all gifted subs. And by the way, Playful Anxiety, uh, thank you for the uh, five as well. So what I was saying with like Sexy Red is like, yo, she just has to up, update her taste. And I know some of y'all really hate what she represents. I'm not sitting here. And, and I heard people say I'm simping for not getting on her. I'm just not going to be a hip, hypocrite. If I get on Sexy Red, I got to get on Cardi B and Nicki Minaj. All of these women are sexualized. You get what I mean? And, um, yeah, it's really like that. Anyway, she responded to it, and this was her video. You know, granted, if you didn't see the actual porn, porno or the her sex tape, whatever they're calling it, you know, she says her booty hole brown and the pussy's pink. You know, the, the pussy happened to be like, you know what I mean, dark charcoal. And then, well, actually, the, the, the booty hole was dark charcoal, and the pussy looked black. You know what I mean? It was a little bit, you know, it, it is what it is. This is her explaining why the color didn't match her song lyrics. Why do I see them ass look kids talk about my coochie not pink? Why, now, I'm brown. Why would the outside of my coochie be pink? Can yeah, you make it argue. make sense? That's how I know y'all don't get no ass, nothing. Why would the fuck the outside of my coochie be pink? Not that y'all was thinking that that's sick. No, the outside is not pink, dumb ass. If you get some coochie and you see what the fuck going on, you're going to see what I'm saying. Common sense. Now, next question, Tamika. Next question, Tamika. Why do I see? Now, here's the thing that I think most of y'all have to acknowledge. And by the way, Sexy Red, this is not me. You know, by the way, I, I like, again, I keep having to say I like Sexy Red because I, you know, I'm not the guy who, you know, I think she's just being real and authentic. I don't want to be the person who's just trying to diss her for no reason. She seems like she be doing her thing. I don't give a fuck. Here's what I got to tell all y'all who are fans. When you hear these rappers, especially female rappers, right? And they're saying they got wet ass pussy. They'll twerk on the dick. You know what I mean? They're going to waterboard it or whatever the fuck they be talking about. Half of these chicks, they, they're like a fucking starfish in bed. They don't do shit. You know what I mean? I think people are shocked that, you know... She's saying, pound town, I'm going to pound town. Yeah. All these chicks talk all that shit, and when it comes time for them to get dick, all they do is just fucking close their eyes and just lay on their back. That's for the most part. So the majority of these women who are sexualized, you might think they're like sex queens or like some fucking porn stars. No, they're just regular people. And, you know, I see people trying to like critique that because they expected her to be some all-time freak. No, that's music. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, she probably lays on her back and gets dicked down by a bunch of niggas with ankle monitors. Like, you know what I mean? What do you think she was doing? Like, fucking, like, like tricks like Pinky? Like, or tricks like motherfucking, I don't know, you think she was sucking dick like uh, Tiana Trump? Or something? I don't know what I think she was doing. So, again, I I don't really judge her for it. Um, but obviously other people do. Okay? What y'all feeling about that? Yeah. Some of y'all 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 clearly don't like the fact that it feels like false advertising, right? Bro, have you seen the sex tape of any female rapper that lived up to like what they've said in records? You get what I mean? Like No, it doesn't happen like that. Somebody said, Well, Act, you just commended her for living her raps. Yeah, no, no, I commend her from living her raps because like she's on the whole shit. Like <clears throat> she said she's on the whole shit. A video comes out that validates her on the whole shit. I'm not mad. Now, some of y'all think she's some sexual queen. No. Half of these chicks, like, bro, they're not porn stars. Somebody says, uh, Dub V says he wouldn't hit her with a 10-foot pole. Really? Chat, would y'all fuck Sexy Red? Let me get a little pole real quick. Would y'all fuck her? Somebody said, I would hit, no, not, bro, my commentary has nothing to do with me hitting, like, I'm gonna be honest, I would never hit a sexy red raw, like, oh my god, hell no, nah. like, <laughs> fuck them, 
You know what I mean? I would never. Yo, chat. Yo, I'm gonna be honest. I would. Yo, there's certain type of chicks like you could look at them and you'd be like, Yo, bro, I can't hit that wrong. <laughs> or if you do hit a chick like Sexy Red Roy, it's like you know you're rolling the dice. Somebody said, "Gotta have a glove for that." Somebody said, "I'm sprinting to pound town." Somebody says, "Krishan be moving, bro, but she crazy though." Is Krishan like Krishan's sex tape did leak? It, does she seem like she was like going crazy? I don't know. Somebody says Sukiana is a female rapper who do what she say. I mean, she is, but like I'm gonna be honest with you, like there was like a discolored thing happened with the squirting, and, and I don't know about that one. Shit was green. It's all good. All right. Anyway, uh. Is there anything else I didn't mention about Sexy Red? I like her. I like her. I'm, I'm sorry. I like her. Again, I'm not simping for her. I am accepting the fact that a ratchet woman like her, who was probably broke before, probably fucking niggas in, like, with all due respect to her, fucking a bunch of drug dealers in trap houses before she had any type of fame. You get what I mean? Like, she was, she, she might have been the pass around. You feel me? I'm not mad that she's gotten some fame and she's still keeping it as authentic to what her, what her you know, um, living situation used to be. The only thing I say to people who hate her is that you what you hate about her is created by the things you love by other artists. It's cute when. Ice Spice says she's in the deli showing her panties, but it ain't cute when the girl is not as cute as Ice Spice saying it, or it's Sexy Red saying, she ain't saying she's showing her panties, she's saying she's just getting raw dogged, <laughs> and she looks like this, you know what I mean? So, again, y'all gotta pick what y'all want, man, like, you know what I mean? Like, this is us dude. we make exceptions, like, unfortunately, us dudes, we're so weak, for the flesh is like if you see a beautiful woman like sometimes they might be the biggest whore but because they're beautiful you're like oh whatever 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 everybody's done that keep it keep it a beat let me see one in the chat i'm gonna see who who gonna keep it real have you ever decided whether or not to use a condom based on how pretty the girl was keep it on it if y'all niggas lie on this we could just move on keep it on it right like plenty. if you're fucking ice spice are you using a condom most y'all gonna say no Y'all fucking sexy red? Y'all using a condom? Most y'all gonna say yes. Let's keep it a bean. Now, to be honest, you really don't know who might really got something. Even though I ain't gonna lie, sexy red rap says she got something. Us men, a lot of times, we do a lot of bullshit ass, like, you know, like, aesthetic test to kind of take really dumb risks. I know y'all know what I'm talking about. Chat, put like this. Put like this. If you're fucking Ruby Rose, you pulling out? No! It, now, if you're fucking Sukiana, first of all, you know you're going to have a condom on it. You know you're not even... Yo, you get what I mean? <laughs> exactly. Now, granted, whoever has an STD or whatever, whatever, really just might not matter. It doesn't matter about looks. But... The reality is that us men, a lot of times, we judge a lot of behavior based on looks. And I'm telling y'all, if Sexy Red was just, if Sexy Red looked like Ice Spice, a lot of what she's saying, even though you would still call her a hoe, you would just be like, yo, I, I know she's a raw dog queen, but shit, I'm definitely going raw dog with her. You know what I mean? It is, it is what it is. Exactly. Look at this nigga. He says, sorry, Ruby, I'm going all in. Exactly. Exactly. You know what I mean? <laughs> Somebody say, yo, yo, 2019 Ruby getting it raw, 2020. Wait. What's the difference between 2019 Ruby and 2023? Somebody said 2019 Ruby is getting it raw. 2023 Ruby is getting a condom. It is what it is. Anyway. All right. Um, I think we're going to the sexy red topic. Salute to her, by the way. Um, me, I just don't want her to get used by a bunch of 
broke ass bum ass hood niggas who won't protect her brand. You know what I mean? Again, you know, she's popping and even if we don't like what she represents, she has an opportunity to change the fortune and the lives of her family members and people around her. And listen, when someone gets famous in any family or any group, that person has an opportunity to bless others. And I hope she could continue for as long as she can. And when I see like stupid ass hood niggas who are, you know what I mean? They just want recognition from like, like their small friend group fucking up the bag. I'm like, yo, come on. It works vice versa, right? It's like a dude with some girl and the girl's fucking up the bag. It's like, you're going to look at her like, what the fuck are you doing? The nigga has his bag and he's probably helping a lot of people out. What are you doing? All right. Somebody says, yo, Ak is promoting AIDS. What are you talking about? Chief Sosa says, tell him about Ruri. What do you mean about Ruri? Like, Ru what about Ruri? Nigga, you know I'm reading comments, right? Like, you know we're live, right? Like, I'm reading comments. What are y'all talking about? I'm going to read the fucking donations, my nigga. Relax. <laughs> First of all, there's a way to donate straight on Twitch if you're on Twitch, but I'll go to Streamlabs. Streamlabs is like the way you could easily get to me. Ruri dissed me. No, he didn't. Ruri did. Ruri dissed me. Tap, please give me that clip. I'm down to crash out tonight. Ruri, I told you, you shouldn't mention me if you don't want your little baby. My nigga, I, I don't got no kids, my nigga. I'll put your little child up there, nigga. I, 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 listen, I will be, be on some real shit where you got to do something. <laughs> like, I will. I, that's how I get down. I get it to the point where if you don't do something, you pussy. Because I talk about you, your baby mama, your child, your child's. I talk about everybody. I talk about your dead grandma. I talk about everybody. I'll make it like you have to talk about me. I'll make it like you have to do something. Find me the clip. Find me the clip. And find me like all the pictures of that nigga's baby. And I'm going to have it as my background for the rest of the stream. Okay? Matter of fact, I'm going to have a row session for that motherfucking mutt. Hold on. I'm, 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 I'm going to get this shit right. I hope that nigga ain't playing with me. I, just, oh, my God. Like, sweet Jesus. I, I, I got to say a prayer on stream. I don't care, kid, baby, I don't give two fucks. Crashing out will happen. All right. I should, I should leave the kids alive. Fuck that. Hell no. Nah. I don't like that nigga anyway, man. I don't like that nigga anyway, man. Fuck that. All right, bet. Okay. Uh, We're going to react to Annoying TV in a second. We're going to react to, uh, let me just read a couple of, who donated? Y'all told me I'm ignoring y'all donations. What the fuck are you talking about? Oh, the God of Black 619. Thank you for the two. He says, Ak, how do you feel about Bad Bunny announcing an album a day after uh, uh, a day after For All the Dogs came out? You think he's trying to take that number one spot on Billboard? I'm going to be honest with you. So, like, should I talk about it now? I'll read that, that donation. Give me a second to talk about Bad Bunny because I'm right now I'm feeling it. I'm in crash out mode right now. So let's get all the crash outs right now. Okay. Let's get the crash outs immediately. All right. Um, real quick. Ruri. Yo, I gonna lie, man. Yo, chat, I gonna lie. Y'all sent me on dummy missions. I was about to have a decent stream. Ruri mentioned me. Where the fuck did he mention me at? Where the fuck did he? Where the fuck did this bum ass nigga mention me at? Is this a fucking channel? Chat, tell me where he mentioned me at. I did the warm up with motherfucking um, what's the name? What's Young Thug, like, you know, one of his harlot chicks name? Uh, Mar Yo, Mariah the Scientist, if you mention me, I'm telling you, you got unfinished beef with Jerk or Carly. You ain't been to one court hearing for Tory nor Thug. You can't talk to me, shorty. I'm really finna violate you. I'm really. Somebody says, what, don't crash out of Mariah? Somebody say, I didn't even crash out on her? You're right. I'm a fryer. You're right. 
Mariah, I'm going to fry you for the rest of the week. That, uh, that's what we going to do. Bitch, I don't even like you like that. I don't even know you. Bitch, over here, like, bro, like, you got to realize, like, nigga, you know what I started to realize? We don't figure it out. Does Gunna still have the album of the year since Drake dropped? Did we give Gunna album of the year? We're going to talk about the album of the year with Gunna when it comes a little bit to December. Uh, chat, if you guys don't know, me, Vlad, me, Vlad, Adam, and Say Cheese, we're doing a joint, like a joint, um, like end of year wrap up or it's not even end of year wrap up. It's like an award show. We're trying to do it this year. Adam looked like he's trying to coordinate it a little bit. Like he's, you know, I told him I'm all the way in, um, but it's going to be like new media and we've we've picked Vlad, me, Adam, say cheese. I think those are good. I think those are good. All right. Mariah, the fucking scientist. You know the reason why I don't go that crazy on her. And by the way, Ray, get your ass on Discord, nigga. You know Mariah is Tori's artist, and I'm not trying to violate her career. I ain't trying to violate a career tonight because, you know, once I start, I do not stop. I will sit here and she better pray to get out of jail because I'm going to talk about her every day till she either either she commits it or she's over here crying, bawling. Even though it's not that serious because she, did she disrespect me? Oh, let me go back to it. Actually, fuck it. Bitch, you didn't even mention my name, man. Real talk. I don't care who your nigga is, dog. I don't care who your nigga is. Your nigga is right now in Fulton County Jail punching at the walls. Don't mention me. Send some money on some commissary. Don't mention me. Yo, you, yo, let me get straight. Yo, Mariah, you not talking about gunning the, the nigga who snitching on your nigga. That's why your nigga in jail. He not dicking you down for that reason. That nigga's in jail punching at the air because your man got snitched on by gunner. You not talking about him. You not built like that. Stop talking about a nigga like me. You won't talk about gunner. Don't talk about act. You feel me? So reason your nigga is in Fulton County Jail with no release date. Ten bond here is denied. You not you not showing up to a bond hearing. You ain't doing a motherfucking thing. Don't mention me if you ain't finna get at the niggas who keeping them in jail. You ain't like that. Keep singing them little whack ass ballads you got. All them niggas who was putting you on, I keep telling you, you a pretty face. You not that talented. You Tanache 3.0. Sorry to tell you that. I hope you can dance because Tanash at least could do a little two-step and some type of backflip. Pretty face ain't that talented. But of course, you know, you got a pretty face. You don't get that thug feature. You don't get this feature. What you finna do now? When's your last hit? Fuck is you talking about? Mariah, let's talk about you. Tell my mind my business. Shorty, I get more money off rapping than you. I get more money off talking about you than you get off your own music. So let's me talk about you. When you gonna get another hit? Cause I could make oh, I could make millions talking about you. Could you make millions singing? Mariah, see, but, but see, I only want to do this because they're gonna say I'm bullying you. I'm gonna get like some weird ass call from some other weird ass nigga like, yo, could you chill on her? I hate when y'all chicks be mentioning me. Because as soon as I respond to y'all, y'all be calling some weird ass nigga who I don't really give a fuck about them neither. Hey, I, could you chill? Don't mention me no more. You see what I did to that? You see, you, know, you see what I did to that chick with that graveyard pussy, right? Where's she been at? Y'all see what I did to uh, Asian doll? I told her, I told that bitch, yo, your pussy is a cemetery. Only Paul Bearers and Grave Diggers really fuck with you. How many caskets? Yo, stop playing. You know what I mean? So, let, me, let, me, let me get him out of the way. Hey, listen. She she been she been in her feelings since then. Mariah the Scientist, you're not built for it. As soon as you heard my name, you should have said, next question, please. And you're going to learn about it now. Because Thug ain't getting out for a while. Yes, Gunner snitched on him. He ain't getting out for a while. I'm sorry. Uh-huh. He ain't getting out for a while. So you're going to have to deal with me. I'm sorry. Uh-huh. I'm sorry. Yeah. 
Ah, uh, mm, uh, yeah, mm, mm, oh, Tori and I get down for a while too. Mm, I'm sorry, uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, um, ah, okay, cool. You don't want to mention me no more. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. Are y'all going to send us some more out of scientists? I dare her to mention me again. This was the precursor. You mention me again, I'm going to give you a whole stream. It's going to be the biggest thing in your career. All right. Send me the Ruri clip. I want, like, I, Mariah the Scientist is it, light, man. I get her the fuck out of the pain. I'm trying to crash out on Ruri. Okay, anyway, uh, let's get into some other things. And by the way, chat, I know y'all are here. Y'all be like, yo, act, chill out, chill out. Oh, we here, we here. You know, I'm, I'm off the Henny. This is the same Henny bottle I had from the Drake stream. So, you know, I, I ain't even drink the, the majority of it to really crash out then because... I'm listening to Drake singing a bunch. I'm like, what the fuck? What the fuck Drake singing? He wasn't on. I thought For the Dogs was on some, yo, Pusha T, suck, suck a dick. Kanye, you a bitch. I thought, I thought that's what Drake was going to be on. That's why I had the Henny. Yo, when Drake said, I want the old act back, he wanted the act with the Henny. Nigga, I thought that nigga was going to cuss out his ops, tell him niggas, yo, it's up. When I catch you, I'm sparking you. Nigga, I'm over here ready to drink from the bottle. Then all of our, yo, yo. Then all I hear is just a bunch of singing. I'm like, Dude, what's going on in here? It's all good. Somebody said I'm, tax I'm toxic? What does that even mean? <sighs> okay, Chad. So my boy Annoying TV, he went to Toronto. My boy thought it was a little bit sweet. From what I'm hearing, um, one of the guys ran down on him and his homies in the Sprinter. Um, th this story is not funny, but I, but I gave a warning to streamers. Hey, listen, and by the way, this is, a, I'm a part of this gang. Okay. I'm a part of my gang. You know, I am part of no gang, but I'm a part of this group. I see online influencers who are getting a shit ton of money want to be like rappers. Why? Because rappers floss and flex. And I ain't gonna lie. A lot of these women these days, trust me, they judge guys on jewelry. They judge guys on whatever. And these days it's not only rappers that have it with streamers I have it right and however here's the thing I, I've always thought and I've warned these streamers I say hey, listen if y'all trying to hang around the scene of rap you need to be weary that you're the easier target if somebody runs down on soldier boy I don't care what you think about soldier boy soldier boy's rolling with some real niggas around him they all like soldier boy signed to a street nigga I don't know if y'all know this Soldier Boy's like manager of where he signed to is a street nigga. If you run down on so if you wonder why Soldier Boy never like whatever, like some crazy shit, Soldier Boy signed to a street a street nigga's making money off of him. So you run down Soldier Boy on some real crazy shit, bro, the niggas with him are gonna handle you. Now here's the thing. Niggas ain't gonna be like, oh, we're gonna turn Soldier Boy into food, grab his chain. You know what they're gonna do? They're gonna see these streamers who are thinking that they're like the rappers except they're going out because they they guess they don't have enemies and they're like well nobody's gonna try to take my chain but yeah you're the best person to take the chain fuck it you're not gonna do nothing you don't you're like shit you're just gonna give it up we don't even have to have a weapon so they ran down on annoying and, and like a couple of his buddies apparently one of his buddies fell out of the car while they were trying to speed off because it was three guys with a gun and apparently they sped off and left that nigga, and that nigga got robbed for everything. Chain, watch, everything, whatever, whatever. This is annoying talking about it now. Your idol. Here we go. <sighs> I'm not even finna do no intro. We finna just get straight into it. You know what I'm saying? Um, I know you guys, some of you guys see the clip of what happened uh, on stream and um, the situation that occurred in Toronto. So I'm about to just go ahead and just believe, really just explain. What really went on all right so first things first a lot of people ask why were we even in toronto uh we were in toronto to to go to the drake concert we got front seats to go to the drake concert and uh we just wanted to see drake because as you know that's our favorite artist and uh yeah that's the reason why we we're in toronto so i know a lot of people ask their questions like why was the door open or um why wasn't there security why you didn't get security 
etc. So I'm just gonna really just break down. Chat, I'm, I'm gonna pause this real quick just because I, I know a lot of y'all 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 listen to every one of my streams, so y'all know what's going on. But I I like giving context because um you know I'm just a you know I, I used obviously I used to give y'all the stories of what's going on, so I like recapping shit. Okay, I'm not doing this to be redundant, but I do know there might be a small population of the audience that don't know what he's talking about or what I'm talking about. So let me just play the video. This is the guy who's talking. He's holding the camera in this video. This is his man's. Apparently, this is the man's who fell out the car and they took all his shit. And they're in Toronto. I, I, I try to give some context. In Toronto, um, the, the, the liquor stores are government liquor stores. There's no privately owned liquor stores in Toronto. So it's government liquor stores. So they're in front of a government owned liquor store. And, you know, I guess they were streaming with the door open, blah, 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 blah. You know, initially I was thinking, I'm like, well, y'all have all this jewelry on, no security, and you're in a sprinter and the door is open. It, I got to imagine the wolves are out because Drake was having these concerts at the, uh, at, um, he was having these concerts in Canada. The wolves are going to be, be around somehow. Um, however, this is what happened. Might as well get drunk my damn self. Like, you know <laughs> Okay. Might as well get I bet. There's a longer part of the video. I, I think like, it's this. So basically, uh, see, that's annoying. They're in the sprinter. They got the liquor, right? There's one guy there. The other guy got the chain. Annoying also has some shit. And here you see a guy comes in with a gun and he's like, yo, run everything, right? That's the last thing you kind of hear. Then you hear annoying basically saying drive, okay? All right, cool. So let's hear annoying response or is like, you know, uh, explanation about what happened. OK. I'm a whole point of view of everything. And so people can just, you know, we could just move on from this as a whole and just go on and continue it as a whole. Right. So um, as we touched down in Toronto, we're hanging with uh, Krabaz, right? Krabaz is uh, you guys, some of you guys know who Krabaz is. He works with a lot of streamers and YouTubers. Ribaz is supposed to be my person that could provide me content for an entire trip other than the Drake concert. He was just there. To I'm going to pull up some of these people right? he sold, Mal. So, as we go, Krabaz initially tells us that, yo, I can reach this club hosting. Show love to Toronto, bro. Like, Toronto doesn't really get no love out here. So, if you could show love to the city, that could be a big thing for the city. Like, you know, just show love and, you know, tap in with the city, man. Because, you know, he was just basically telling us, like, city... City don't really get no love like that. And we really uh, like love y'all and appreciate y'all. So I'm like, all right, bet. So I go to this club hosting. Um, he introduced me to some people. Some of them were YouTubers. Some of them were creators. You know what I'm saying? And some of the creators that were fans of me, they were just like, yo, you know how much we fuck with y'all here in Toronto, blah, blah, blah. So, you know, I'm excited. You know, every time um, somebody's a YouTuber or creator, it brings me back to a, a, a point in my career or a point in my life where I, I wasn't appreciated or loved. And I know how it feels to meet, you know what I'm saying, your idol or somebody who you're inspired by. So I love showing love to creators and YouTubers. So that's just one thing that I always had for me as a heart and mind. And, you know. How do I find Capside? I see y'all saying I should look up Capside. Hold on. I'm going to keep playing this, but tell me how to find Capside. Uh, maybe it backfired on me. Who knows? But um, after that happens, we go to the club. We turn up at the club. Um, we hang out, go get food. After that, we go home. Next day goes by, we start up the stream, right? After we start up the stream, um, people are telling me to go to, people are telling me uh, to go to Yorkdale Mall. Now, at first we're going to the Eaton Center, but everybody's telling me Yorkdale is better. It's a better mall. Uh, it's the biggest mall in Toronto. Yada yada yada, right? So Krabaz has this whole thing set up, right? So we go. I have a cameraman. Um, yeah. And Kabaz has like some other people in the car. He's like, yo, he's introducing me. Yo, this is the person who's gonna, this is the person who's gonna get us for pictures. This is the cameraman. This is the person who's gonna bring us the bitches. He's breaking it down to me. I'm like, all right, bet, whatever, cool, right? After this happens, um, we end up going to the mall. As we're going to the mall, 
Um, I'm going to the food store. I'm going to the OVO store because, you know, I want to add on some OVO 8 because, you know, I'm a big Drake fan. So I just wanted to wear something to appreciate Drake. Everybody's making fun of my outfit, blah, blah, blah. So I changed my shoes and I go get some Air Forces, right? Now, this is where everything happens at. So let's actually break this down, right? Boom. After this happens, um, a YouTuber appears, right? As the YouTuber appears, um, hold on. One second. Hold on, mom. Let me call you back. Uh, as the YouTuber uh, appears, he's like, yo, um, Bass introducing me to him. He's like, yo, um, this is the person that's bringing us the, the bitches, yada, yada, yada. He's like, yo, bro, you mind if I get you for this vlog, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, yes, I'm showing him love on this vlog. He's like, yo, I need you to rate these things, yada, 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 this, that, and the third, right? Um, we end up meeting one of the girls inside the mall, you know what I'm saying? She's very friendly, yada, yada, yada. I fuck where he's the like, back door of death. I could, yo, yo, chat, I could tell it from right now. The back door, what's happening? Hey, by the way, not not to cut him off. Also, yo, I'm gonna be honest with you. And, and again, I sent this message out, bro. Trust me, yo, bro. I have mad jewelry. I have hundreds of thousands of dollars in jewelry, bro. I really pick and choose where I wear it. Like, don't don't really make it. I don't want nobody to think that I think I'm tough. None of that. Nigga, I am smart. I pick and choose spots. A lot of times I show up without jewelry. You feel me? Like, again, when I'm showing up with jewelry, it's usually because I got a nigga ready to blink a nigga. I'm not just running around thinking nothing is cute. And this is why I got to say this streamer because every streamer these days got a big ass chain. Your raise got a chain. That's my man's. Kai got a chain. That's my man's. Aiden got hella chains. That's my man's. Right? Now, by the way, Aiden always moves with security. Kai moves right. Your rage, he he tied in with the people he tied in. But there's other people who get money and getting changed too. Y'all got to remember the rules of wearing jewelry, especially you wearing 40, 50,000 on your neck. You don't got security. You don't have a gun. Not saying, I don't I don't think none of these streamers, not neither me, should be having to walk around with a gun just to wear, wear our jewelry. But... I think streamers started thinking it's so sweet that they could wear their shit and they're not a target. You're the easiest person to rob. We seen in hip hop, how many niggas we seen their chains get snatched? We'll go on a greasy neck tour. Why these, why these streamers is thinking that, by the way, they all could afford security. You want to rock, a, you want to rock jewelry? Make sure you not only have your jewelry, Make sure you have insurance for your jewelry. And then also make sure you have security for your jewelry. I'm not sitting here and clowning nobody. Because I'm telling you, I'm one of them. I'm not no rapper. I'm not seen as a nigga with a bunch of crips or a bunch of bloods or whatever. So when I got to go somewhere, I got to have people to protect not only me, but if I'm trying to be flashy, if I'm trying to have a watch on, if I'm trying to whatever, you got to be smart. You said there's two more girls supposed to be coming to the mall, but they're appearing late. Now, that can be an indicator. They're appearing late. You know what I'm saying? Um, okay, whatever. Just let them know when they hear. They hear. Y'all remember Trill Sammy? Y'all don't remember Trill Sammy. One in the chat if you remember Trill Sammy. Trill Sammy. Go watch my infamous YouTube video on that shit. Look. Nah, nah, nah. Fuck that. Nah. Nah. Watch this. I ain't gonna lie, this was one of the most epic YouTube videos I ever did. This shit got a 1.7 million views. L watch this shit. A nigga say, yo, what's up? Let me talk to you. Look. He snatched the jewelry. He wasn't even a Cuban. Okay, I ain't gonna lie. My commentary back then was legendary. Here we go. You don't know, man. Tro Sam is a Houston rapper. Okay, he's one of those guys. That kind of, he's kind of like in the famous Dex type of realm. Famous Dex. Let's say, uh, by the way, he got a partner named Dice Soho. Uh, he's in the uh, ugly guy type of wave. That Sauce Walker type of wave. Okay, now check it out. He showed up to uh, Greensboro, North Carolina to perform, and apparently 
The Greensboro Savages are with the shit still. Okay, apparently this is a rapper, another rapper. Okay, allegedly. I ain't want to implicate nobody, but allegedly it's another guy. He's a rapper too. They're saying his name is uh, 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 Lito Bands or some shit. They're saying the guy. Was that Stitch and Chat? I named the nigga. <laughs> Alito Benz, he kind of leans. Yo, y'all remember when my voice is like that? Ah! And who's the day one academics fan? Come on, spam them ones up, man. I need to, somebody says squeaky voice. I need to. I need, yo, this is seven years ago. Let me see them scorpions. Like he was gonna tell Trill Sammy something, and he grabbed his chain and ran. Okay, now in the chain snatching handbook, here we go. Usually, Facts. if you really want credit for snatching a chain, you gotta square up or bitch a nigga and then take his chain. Facts. If you snatch and run, not too sure how many points you get off that. I gotta look. It might be between two and three, but you definitely ain't getting a full ten. Okay. Facts. Now. Apparently, the guy actually got out the club because I think uh, Cho Sammy's associates thought he was about to get hit or some shit. So they kind of held him back. But go. homie ran out the club with the chain. Apparently, Cho Sammy afterwards was trying to find the chain. You know that chain is gone. All right, that chain is motherfucking gone. Now, the fact that they know that rapper, they'll probably be able to get it back because, I mean, I'm pretty sure the promoter and all the even the club owner, you're, you're going to be like, yo, bruh, you fucking up business. Hey, that check, that chain went on tour, neck to neck, block to block, hood to hood. That chain started doing interviews. That chain had a booking info in their bio. It was like Blueface's baby, real talk. Trill Sammy's chain is one of the most infamous chains, nigga. That shit did a 40 city tour, nigga. Let's keep it a beam. That shit was lathered in fucking uh <laughs> in fucking engine oil neck grease dog everybody knows this come on a universal tour <laughs> this for out of town us to come here because you snatching chains get that nigga's chain back okay but listen man you never know too. his mama gave him that chain I mean, maybe his grandmama gave him that chain get that nigga's chain back get that nigga's chain back man all right now again I think Trill Sam, even though he was hot after the event, he was walking around looking for the guy or looking to see how he could recover his chain. Bro, again, when you playing away games, I'm going to tell all y'all rappers that. When y'all play away games, I don't care how tough y'all claim to be. When y'all play away games in somebody else's hood, somebody else's city, just always remember. You will clearly be outnumbered, okay? So nobody give a Anyway, let's get back to the real shit. So now knowing, again, remember... We're back in Toronto. They they get in, they hop in a sprinter, we close the door, we off to the Drake concert. So after we're off to the Drake concert, I'm talking to this girl, blah, blah, blah. You know what I'm saying? The other two girls in the car, they're kind of quiet and shy, right? Now, here's the thing. Um, let's just continue with the story. I'll, I'll go back to it afterwards, right? They're kind of quiet and shy. Now, mind you, um, the Drake concert from... Your bell was far as fuck. It was like an hour, 30 to 40 minutes. Like, uh, it was a long drive. Anybody who was in the stream, they'll tell you that, that that drive was a super long drive. You see what I'm saying? Um, As we're in the car, I'm like, well, like, bro, like, the chat's like, bro, y'all should have, I should have got some liquor or something to turn them up. So I'm like, I tell my driver, now, I want you guys to really listen so you can follow along with the story. I tell my driver, I said, stop at the nearest liquor store, right? Didn't say a location, didn't say an address. I just said, stop at the nearest liquor store. Now, remember what I was telling you, I never watched this video before. Remember what I was telling you about Toronto. In Toronto, there is no private liquor store. Every liquor store is owned by the government, so it's publicly known. So he's trying to allude to, I told my driver, stop at the nearest liquor store. But, bro, there's no, like, mom and pop store. There's no chain stores. It's only government liquor stores. Right? Um, unless anybody in the stream could find any details, whatever. Cool. I'm telling him, stop at the nearest liquor store. Right? Tap. And the bags, they go inside the liquor store, they get the bottles. 
right? It was like, yo, why we only get one bottle? We should get two bottles, right? That's what the YouTuber said. The YouTuber also was like, oh, I have a friend who could bring us a bottle. Keep this in mind. He's like, I got a friend who could bring us a bottle. He won't even charge y'all. I said, well, where is he at? He can meet us at the show. You know what I'm saying? But I'm still, I'm not thinking anything of it. You feel me? And I don't want to blame anybody or let people make accusations or whatever the case may be. I just want you to follow along with the story. You know what I'm saying? So, after this happens, one of the girls is like, um, I'm finna use the restroom. Her bad, uh, one of the guys in the sprinter was like, I'm finna grab another bottle. Now, the other girls are like, oh, now nah, I gotta use the restroom too. So, four people had to hop out of the sprinter, right? Big red flag. Anytime, let me tell you this. You with a bunch of stranger bitches and all them gotta go to the bathroom at the same time, they either plotting on how they gonna finesse y'all, who they gonna fuck, or which of their street niggas they about to tell her come rob you. <laughs> Listen, only way you let four chicks you just met that day all leave and go collaborate outside of your presence is if you have a girl in that gr group to go with them to the bathroom. If he had a girl with them to go to the bathroom, she gonna get a lowdown and be like, yo, yo, I ain't gonna lie, I'm getting different vibes. He don't got that. There's four people who hop out of the sprinter. Mm. After four people hop out of the sprinter, the door is wide open because people are going in and out the sprinter. You know what I'm saying? We don't know when niggas is coming back, blah, blah, blah. Should that door have been, have been shut? Absolutely, right? After this happens, a guy comes into the sprinter. He's reaching. He has like one arm right here and the other one. He pulls out his gun. He's not He's not really holding the gun. Like, I don't know. He's holding the gun kind of, he's holding it from the extended clip. Like you guys can see in the footage, he's holding it from the extended clip, right? After he's holding the gun from the extended clip, he's like, run everything. As soon as he says that, my driver peels off. He cuts the wheel. That's why in the clip, you could, you could see me. I dropped the phone. That's how hard my driver peels off. I'm like, oh shit, everybody in the car is rolling, like they're tumbling and shit, right? My homeboy, Cap. Cap rolls out the sprinter. Oh! Not after we get back doored, my day one rolls out the car. Oh, chat. Hey, all y'all be claiming y'all gangster niggas. Yo, you, you my day one. We in Toronto. Unfortunately, we thought it was sweet, which you shouldn't think is sweet, but we did. The robber comes in, run everything. He ain't really gripping the gun right. Driver peels out, but one of the one of the guys fall out the car. What do you do, Chad? I I need polls in everywhere. Rumble, YouTube, Twitch. One of the guys fall out the car. Do you a? Spin back. No guys left behind. B. I'm going to see that bitch ass thing on the other side. We're getting out of there. You know what I mean? Survival of the fittest. C. We're not even leaving because we're all going to stay and fight. Jaden, Jaden, you not listen to the story? The guy falls out of the car. Oh my God. Yo, chat, why y'all making me do this? This is why people be saying I'm like the feds, man. Look, what he's talking about is this. Chat, I gotta give you nothing. Now I'm on some Keefy D shit. <laughs> the nigga who falls out of the sprinter is this guy. So basically, they're saying when the guy runs in, the driver, he just cuts the wheel. Remember, this nigga don't got no seatbelt on or nothing. He falls out the car. Everybody else is in the car. He falls out. Here's the thing. He got the he got chains too. He got chains and watches. So everybody, like, you got to realize, if all of a sudden a driver gets startled, hit the gas and the guy who's there is going to fall out. Right? That's how he fell out. Let's get back to it. The person with the gun is still inside of the sprinter. 
You see what I'm saying? Wait, so Cap falls out? Oh, so the nigga falls out, but the guy who's robbing him is still in the Sprinter while the driver peels out. Oh, shit. As the person with the gun is still inside of the Sprinter, Krabaz jumps behind him and Krabaz ends up jumping out the Sprinter. So now it's... What? <laughs> nah, hold on, hold on. Nah, this is like some goof troop behavior. So one nigga falls out the Sprinter. The other nigga who was... By the way, let, let's go back to this video if you're wondering who Kribaz is. Hold on. So Kribaz is this guy. So, so Kribaz is this guy, right? So Kribaz is this guy. Remember, this guy falls out the car. And then this guy then jumps out the car. So basically, the robber who jumped in is in here with annoying alone. And the car is like driving off and the door is still open. Me, the two other guys that's in the spinner, and so there's two other guys you can't see them though. There's two other guys behind him, and the gunman, right? After this happens, he now he sees that cap is out the car, he now directly points the gun towards me, right? As soon as he points the gun towards me, boom! I don't know what my driver hit, it felt like the speed bump or something. The car is moving in motion. Boom. He hits the speed. Nigga, this is some transporter shit. This is some shit you see on Netflix. Bump. Everybody's all like tumbling and shifting over and shit again. The gunman drops his gun. He drops his gun. Oh, he does a tax stone. He drops the gun. The blinky's, the blinky's loose. After he drops his gun. Chat, what are you doing if the gunman... Or the robber who runs up on you, he got the blick, but your driver is hitting the NASCAR. It hit different when your driver hit the speed bump and the gun drops out of the out of the robber's hand. What are you doing? The gun's on the floor. It's four y'all. No, it's three of y'all at least. Annoying and two other guys and the gunman, except the gunman, gun is dropped. What you finna do, chat? It's 3v1 and you got a driver. It's 3v1. The gun's on the floor. What you finna do? Chat. What you finna do? It yo, the gunman done fumbled the gun. It's on the ground. It's three of y'all, one of him. Let's hear. Gun? Thank God the gun fell out the sprinter. Oh and shit. The gun falls out the sprinter too. Oh sh I right, chat chat. Chat. Oh, I ain't gonna lie to you. Oh. Chat. This is me like this obviously, by the way, I'm, I'm not trying. You know, I'm not tough and all that. But like, chat, we're Monday morning quarterbacking him. The guy runs in with the gun. It was clearly five of y'all. Annoying. Kribas, Cap, Kribas and Cap eventually get out of the car or fall out of the car. Then there's two dudes behind Annoying. Okay, the two dudes, uh, um, the two dudes in front, so Kribas and um, Cap, they fall out the car. Now it's the gunman versus annoying and two other dudes. Then the gunman drops the gun. Then you heard what he said? The gun dropped, fell out the car. Chat, I'm going to be honest with you. It's three of y'all, one gunman, and his gun fell and fell out the car. Chat, I'm going to be honest with you. Y'all got to choke that nigga to death. You got to. You got. He don't got no gun no more. And the car's in. All right, let's hear what happens. As the gun falls out the sprinter. He's still in the car, but he's he's kind of like nervous. He's looking like left, right. The gunman's in there without the gun. Like, oh shit! You see what I'm saying? Tell me they start swinging. I know. Like, listen. You see these niggas? They RP. I know they start swinging. It's, it's beat down time. Let's get it. He jumps out the sprinter. Oh, he jumps out the sprinter. As he jumps out the sprinter, the car the car like comes down suddenly to a stop. I'm like. Hell no. Close the door. Because, the, remember, he just dropped his gun. So I'm thinking he's going to pick the gun up and try to, you know what I'm saying, run back to the sprinter or something. I'm like, close the door, close the door, and pull off. Close the door, pull off. So Nah, this is foul. He not thinking about the two niggas that was in the car with him that fell out the car. He ain't saying, yo, where are mans at that we came with? Let's go get him. He's like, nah, close the door. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Yo, yo, let's get to the airport, man. Them niggas, yo, this is crazy.
Yo, chat. Y'all got to judge it. Are you... What the fuck is that sound? Oh, my bad, my bad. Oh, shit. Okay, yeah. Never mind. This is my other computer. Make it hey, chat. Is he fake for not going back for the two niggas who fell out of the car? Because you got to realize, what he's not saying is that the niggas who fell out of the car that's his mans, they're not thinking about going back for it. They're thinking about still getting out of there. I'm telling my driver, I'm like, go, go, go. We're not stopping this car. Oh, chat. Yo, chat. Do you got to catch a fade with him? Remember, yo, chat. Let's go back to this. Chat, you're this guy. You're this guy and this guy, right? You're this guy. Y'all fall out the car. You're going to hear later there were three other more guys that were robbers. Only one came in the car. So these niggas is getting stripped and all type of shit. But the the car that y'all came with is, is peeling out and they left you. And they're not doubling back. <laughs> they're just, yo... Annoying is saying he's in the car like, go, go. Yo, imagine your man's like, you fell out the car and your man's ain't like, nah, yo, we got to go get him. They're like, no, go, 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 go. His gun. He drops his gun. After he drops his gun, thank God, the gun fell out the sprinter. As the gun falls out the sprinter, he's still in the car. But he's, he's kind of like nervous. He's looking like left, right, like, oh, shit. You see what I'm saying? He jumps out the sprinter. As he jumps out the sprinter, the car, the car like comes down suddenly to a stop. I'm like, hell no. Close the door. Cause the, remember, he just dropped his gun. So I'm thinking he's gonna pick the gun up and try to, you know what I'm saying, run back to the sprinter or something. I'm like, close the door, close the door, and pull off. Close the door, pull off. So I'm telling my driver, I'm like, go, go, go. We're not stopping this car for shit. Go. We ain't stopping this car for shit. Them niggas who fell out of the car, fuck them niggas, man. <laughs> As that happened, he closes the door. Now, mind you, this is all in like a 60-second time span. Cap and Krabaz, they bend out the vehicle. So I'm thinking that they had a head start to take off, right? He said they had a head start to take off. Y'all are driving. They're running. <laughs> they had a head start to take Nigga, y'all have like... 300 horsepower. They have two feet. <laughs> Yo, they been out the car. They had a head start. Nigga, what? Nigga, how they got the head start? <laughs> Nigga, you're in the vehicle. <laughs> he said, oh, they been out the car. <laughs> <laughs> they been out the car. They had a head start. Yo, chat, this is crazy. Yo, how the niggas outside the car got a head start over the vehicle? Oh, shit. They got a head start. <laughs> Oh, no. Nah. Krabaz calls one of the guys in the sprinter. He's like, yo, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Come back. I'm thinking Krabaz and Cap went the same way. So I'm like, okay, Krabaz, you're good. Where's my homeboy at? He's like, Cap's not with me. He walks out. He's like, he's like, I see Cap. I see Cap. I'm like, oh, thank God. You see what I'm saying? These niggas is halfway to like Buffalo at this point. They probably in America. I ain't gonna hold you. These <laughs> these niggas been speeding. Yo, hold on. Oh shit, y'all can't. These niggas is speeding so fast because they done left niggas. They're halfway to Washington D.C. Nigga, they don't know what's going on. I tell Krabaz, I'm like, bro, y'all call an Uber to the hotel because if we spin back, if we spin back, you know what I'm saying? Um. No, first, I... Wait, 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 wait. No, he, is he explaining why he did go back with the car? <laughs> Yo, annoying, you got to keep it real. Hey, we ain't go back with the car because we thought they were dead. <laughs> like, let's be honest. Let's be honest. You, said, you try to figure out why like, he ain't spin back. Where are you at? And are they still there? Because if we spin back, they might, they might shoot the shit up. So Nigga... If they might shoot the shit up, they might shoot your mans. <laughs> He's not in a car. He's out there with all his jewelry with his two feet, nigga. <laughs> I'm telling them, I'm like, yo, y'all hide, y'all hide. Yo, yo. Hey, y'all niggas hide because we ain't coming back. Hide. Hide. <laughs> yo, y'all niggas better hide, yo. 
Y'all niggas, yo, yo. <laughs> Hi, or whatever. You know what I'm saying? So, after that happens, I text Cap. <laughs> yo, somebody in the chat said, yo, imagine peeling off of your homies and telling them, yo, you get an Uber. <laughs> Y'all niggas call an Uber. We out. <laughs> yo, y'all niggas hide. Yo, bro, just yo, just pull back around and get us. Nah, hi, nigga. We ain't coming back. <laughs> I said, bro, you good? He said, yeah, I'm good. Captain's up calling my phone. He said, he said, yo, where you at? I'm like, yo, this sounds crazy. The nigga who got who got left outside the car is like, yo, bro, yo, come back, like. Bro, I'm still here. <laughs> Bro, we here. We can spin back to come get you. You want us to spin back? He said, you still streaming? I said, yeah, I'm still streaming. He says, they got me, gang. Oh! They got me, gang. Oh, Chet, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. Man, I fell down to my knees when the law came. Okay. Man, I fell down to my knees when the law came. They got me, gang. Oh. Man, I fell down to my knees when the law came. Oh, Man, no. I fell down to my knees when the law came. They got me, gang. <laughs> oh, no. Call Dago. Somebody. Call Dago. <laughs> Come on, let's call Dago. Call Dago. No, by the way, this is my man's. I shouldn't be laughing like this, but yo, this story sounds crazy. As soon as that happened, I ended the stream. I pointed at everybody. I said, I told my driver, stop the car. All you niggas off the sprinter now. All you niggas off the fucking sprinter now. All y'all niggas out the sprinter. Why? As everybody's getting their stuff, getting off the sprinter. <laughs> They found like a cell phone device. It was like one of the girls' phones. I told them here, take take the girl's phone. Everybody, everybody off the sprinter. Y'all all gotta go. Why? Right. After this happens, we all link back. Uh it's just me, Cap, and Krabaz this time. Nobody else. I'm asking niggas what the Yo chat. Let me interject real quick. And by the way, you know, you know, a lot of, I'm, I'm cool with man of these, like, Toronto hood niggas and shit, so they all hit me and whatever, whatever. I'm going to be honest with you, though. Yo, and, and this is not even just too annoying. This is me sending, like, real a real message to the streaming community. Like, real, like, again, I want to just let y'all know, y'all are not gangsters. I know y'all listen to rap, and y'all like it. And I know y'all like to role play. Y'all do GTA. That's a video game. I'm going to be honest with y'all. Y'all niggas need to file police reports, okay? Because here's the thing. You see this whole thing about not snitching? When niggas take your shit, you supposed to go get it back. None of y'all getting this shit back. File a police report, okay? And by the way, that's not only for y'all, for me too. Because if I ain't about to spend, nigga, niggas ain't taking my shit and I'm chalking it up. It's either I'm about to go get it back or I'm definitely filing a police report. You're either going to jail or I'm going to come get, get it back some way, somehow, in blood. This is my thing with these streamers. Y'all are not like King Vaughn. King Vaughn is going to go get his shit back. He's going to go make, yo, shit's going to shake. Y'all are not going to do nothing. Just file the police report, bro. You get what I mean? That's my whole thing. Just file the police report. Just file the police report. Just file the police report. Because I'm like, even when Annoy is saying, yo, he told everybody to get off, get off the sprinter. I'm thinking he's saying, okay, we're about to go report this to the cops. I guarantee he didn't report this to the cops. And here's the thing. Y'all are not, whoever who took y'all chains, they're on the gram. They're not blacking out their face. They're posting it up. Y'all not about to spin on them. So let me just say that I know a lot of streamers who really, not because y'all could dance like K-Flock don't mean you K-Flock. Just really cut it out. If y'all niggas, if y'all niggas getting y'all shit took, people victimizing y'all and y'all not getting back, y'all coming online making videos about it, file a police report. Stop the fucking bullshit. If you was like that, you wouldn't make no video about it. You heard what Sean Glizzy said. I had to move to Memphis for a whole week. Nigga, you'd have stayed in Canada to get your shit back. Matter of fact, you making a video. You're not like that, bro. I don't care who it is. And the noise, my nigga. I don't care. None of y'all like that. Just realize you're a civilian. You're not snitching on nobody, my nigga. You're a streamer. You get money 
on a different way that's legal. Bro, file a police report. Hopefully you got insurance on your chain. You might not get it back, but at least you get your insurance claim. Because I be, I be just seeing this shit. I'm like, yo. So wait, so all this shit happened to y'all and y'all think that y'all are going to get some brownie points for getting robbed? That's another thing for, like, I'm telling all my streamers who think they're street niggas. You're not getting brownie points for not snitching. You're victims. They're robbing all y'all. They're beating y'all up. You're not getting points for, oh, I held it down. Yeah, you held it down while niggas took your shit. What the fuck happened? Cap told me his point of view. He said, yo, as soon as the driver pulled off and I fell out, Cap said that there was two more gunmen outside. Oh, my God. Let's go to Cap's point of view. Chat, I'm not laughing because none of this shit's funny because it's not. But... Listen, I also want to tell streamers, bro, y'all got to stop with this GTA goofy shit y'all doing, man. Life is real. And I'm going to tell y'all like this. Like, if y'all carrying it like street niggas, I see some of y'all posting guns. Y'all need to go either pick up a blicky and go handle your shit or go to the fucking cops like a civilian. You can't be both. Nobody going to respect you for being the victim constantly. So there's no honor in, oh, I'm, I'm just not going to tell. Well, if you're not going to tell you, you're going to get back? Oh, uh, there ain't no get back. Oh, so you're just a victim. You're a per perpetual victim. You're either going to get your shit back and you're going to keep the police out of it or you should file a police report. There's no other fucking way. Let me see. traffic in Toronto. From Yorkdale to back to downtown. So this is a nigga who fell out of the car. His name is Cap. Y'all call me Chum the Mastermind? I swear to you, game. Um... W Ray, who rated me? Hold on. Let's stop and get some liquor. One of the girls say no. I think I think the other girl said she do drink, right? Um. Oh, so he asked me. He was like, "You want to get some liquor? I drink. Mm, fuck it. Yeah, we can. It don't matter to me. I think dude in the back, YouTuber nigga, like, yo, I get some. Um, I get some. Oh, my my man's pulling up with bottles right now. I'm like nigga, I don't, I, I don't like waiting on people, bro. I I didn't say nothing, but like nigga. Rats, like when this comes back around to when Raz me, like, you want to get this store right here? You want to go get it? I was like, yeah, fuck it. Oh, for context, when he says rat, they call annoying TV rat because I guess he looks like a rat, but not not like he's a snitch. They just, they just call him rat. Just, just for context, just for context. Right? Um, I'm I'm waiting on a nigga, man. I'll just go get the bottle myself. So, um, so boom, it's 45 minutes since that, since the mall shit, right? <clears throat> Um, we at the liquor, we're passing the liquor store, right? Bro say, yo, cat, you want to get the bottle right now? Like me specifically, cause rat, rat stream. I'm not finna tell him to get out the car and do all this. Like, I'm, I'm a quick nigga. I'll, I'll be in and out. Right. I get out the, I get out the van. Uh, I was like, yeah, I'll get the bottle. It, it ain't shit. I go in the store. Casamigos, goes what they wanted. Right. Um, they got a little lock on it. Canadian scary. So they got these, they got like little locks on the, on the, on Cap, what you just said right there is why you got robbed, bro. I'm going to keep it a beat with you. Y'all niggas got to stop going to Canada and stop and, and, and go with that arrogance of Canadians is scary. The nigga who ran down on you with a gun is not scary. Okay. Your disregard for where you're at is why you're in this situation. Stop going. I don't care where you at, my nigga. Stop going to other people's territory and thinking that they're just not like how people from where you're from is like. Like the mere fact you're like, oh, Canadian scary. That's why they got no nigga. On the fucking bottle, you walk out of the store, that shit, the alarm will go off, man. It's crazy. Like it's crazy. Um, <clears throat> so I grabbed the bottle. Uh. Oh, nah, dude is with me too. Hold on. Um, white nigga, bro. Kribaz, Kribaz is with me, right? He 19 on. I, I, I don't know why you want the story. He just he just asked me to come home. Fuck it. He 19. He like, bro, you got to get it because I'm, I'm I'm 19. I ain't got no ID. And I'm saying you got to get it. I'm like, cool. I, I'm not tripping, right? Show my ID. Pay for the bottle. I'm about to be out the way. To, I'm about to be on the way to the store. Kribaz get a text. Niggas in the car. Um, and say, yo, bro. They say. Two, um, grab two, grab two of the biggest Casamigos bottles. 
I'm like, nigga, this is the biggest they have. 19 is our age. Oh, though, I don't, I don't know. I don't. I, I remember that nigga saying some shit like, I'm 19, you gonna have to get it. That's that's what, bro. You know what I'm saying? Where I'm telling y'all what happened. I'm mm, so, um, so nigga text him, yo, I got two bottles. I, we need two bottles. And in my head, I'm like, for what? I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm looking around the van. I'm like, you don't drink like that. I, I don't know half of these niggas, right? But just off the niggas who asked for the bottle, the only one of the big red flag chat. You out of town, you in another country. Half of the people in your sprinter and in your vicinity you don't know. It's not only the women you don't know, some of the men you don't know. Bad combination. By the way, I'm I'm Monday morning quarterbacking it. I don't want to act like I'm some guru. You feel me? Bitches drink. Only one of the girls drink. She's 19. She's not finna be like just down the whole bottle. Rat, you don't fucking drink. And then, like, nigga, it's gonna be. I, so, most of this, but I'm assuming this is for me. I don't know what the fuck we need two for. I'm saying, and I'm selling at the Kabbalah. I'm like, nigga, no, what the fuck we need two for? And as we, as we talking about this shit, right? The three girls from the Sprinter, CC and the two bitches, they come in the store. And we like, what the fuck are they coming in the store for? We just said we was with the bottle. And oh, and the YouTuber nigga come out the store too. Or, yeah, the YouTuber nigga that does come out the store. Um, comes in the store, I meant. And. They all tomorrow, they got to use the bathroom or some shit. By the time this happened, me and Krabat was like, nigga, we only need one bottle. So I walk out the store with the bottle, right? Me and Krabat go back to the van. Um, all right, so I'm in the van. This is, this is the part that's all on video. I get in the van. Rat start talking to me. Yo, cap, we got to shake something up. Some, some shit got to, we got to, you know what I'm saying? As I'm hand, I, yeah, you, I can see all this on video. This is in the clip. I hand him the bottle. Boz is in the, everybody else is in the sprinter, right? Now, bro just got out to go use the bathroom, right? Oh, somebody, hey, Kayla, Kayla, are you from Toronto? Kayla, so apparently, uh, um, uh, let, me, let me pause this comment right here. Somebody said, so remember I told you it's, it's government sales in, in liquor? It's LCBO. So you go liquor, LCBO is a, it's a liquor control board of, of, uh, Canada, all right. Let, let that sub go away. And then you're gonna be able to see it. LCBO is a liquor control board of, uh, of Canada. If we click on it, it's gonna say that pretty much they're the ones who sell liquor, right? Now, here's what Kayla and salute to Kayla. I don't know. It looks like she's from Canada. She says there ain't no bathrooms in LCBO. That's a setup. Now, Kayla, I, I'm going to take you at your word at this, even though I don't have proof, but you're saying there's no bathrooms in the LCBO. So if they're saying, oh, we came out here to go to the bathroom, they're capping. Holy, this is the back door of death. Damn. Wait, hold on. No, we're on we're on this right here. Um, And, the, and that, that's the only people we're missing, the bitches and the nigga that went out to the, the nigga that went out to use the bathroom, right, from what I remember. Um, and then that's when, boom, right? Uh, Rat is talking to me, so I'm not really looking out. So my, my attention is on Rat because he's directly talking to me, and I just got in the Sprinter van, right? So my attention is on Rat. Um, I'm not look. I'm looking right at Rat. By the time I see some some shit like to the left, it's like niggas is already in t in close range. So boom. Oh, somebody yeah. just said it right now on Twitch. They says. Yo, Kayla is right. I'm from Toronto. Bear setup things. Kayla is right. I'm from Toronto. Okay. What is she right about? Official Big Cinco says ain't no bathroom in any liquor store. Well, I, I don't know about the LCBOs. I, like, when I went to Canada that time, you know, I ain't going to tell you what hotel I stayed in because y'all doxed the fuck out of me. But I stayed in a really good hotel, nigga. We had a mini bar. <laughs> I'm sorry. The liquor was in the room. I'm not. <laughs> there was no let's go to the liquor store. It was in the room. Okay. Niggas is in the van. A nick, Not niggas. A nigga is in the van. This is what the stream scene and then the shit cut off. Right. Um. Yeah. This is where the shit. Rat drop his camera. Shit go black. And then from everything after that was hearsay. So this is where I'm gonna tell y'all my my like what happened from with me, right? Oh my, he fell out of the car. You can see I flinched in the video because there's a gun aimed at me, right? By the way, that's completely normal. I don't want none of y'all thug ass niggas say if a nigga pull a gun on you, you're not flinching. Let's be honest. 
So my thought, of, my thought, I'm gonna get the fuck out the way of the gun. I didn't, I, I, you know what I'm saying? I moved, right? Then that's when the camera dropped. Y'all don't see anything after that. The nigga goes, the nigga goes and aims at that rat. Rat, like you could tell rat was the target of this whole shit. He go, he's in the van. He goes straight for rat. The, the gun wasn't even aimed at me for more than a half a second. He goes straight for rat and goes, yo, run that shit, run everything, right? Now, mm. at this, so y'all don't, the camera's already off and y'all y'all can't see nothing else, right? So this is like, that's where assumptions just start getting made out of nowhere, right? So, look at the new, bro, how, how you trying? All right, listen. So, as the, the gun is pointed towards rat, this nigga's full back is pointed towards me. I'm leaning to the side because y'all just seen me dodge the, the direction of the fucking gun, right? This nigga full back is towards me. His gun is in his right hand. He's holding it by the fucking mag. He's holding it by the... If you see, if you, watch, if you really watch the clip, you can see the nigga holding the gun by the mag, bro. It, it, shit is just crazy. Right? Just goofy shit, right? So my my my, my thought process, I'm instantly... Because you got to think fast in these type of situations, right? I'm like, nigga, you're not in danger no more. The gun not pointing at you. His full back is torn towards you. Nigga, push this nigga. So I put my right leg, I put my right leg up. I'm about to stand up and push, and my, he's skinny, frail as shit. I'm about to, I put my right leg, I'm about to push the shit out this nigga. As soon as I put my right leg up, the driver of the sprinter, he hit a hard ass left, and I fall out the van. I fall, I fall out the van because I'm already off balance. I fall out the van, um, and I get up. I, I get up, like, just... Not knowing what the fuck is going on, right? I get up. I see the, I, I know the van is taking off. The van ain't stopping for shit. The van is leaving me. The van, I see the door still open. It's still in close range. I'm picking, I'm recollecting myself off the ground. I know I'm all, I just, I just felt the sprinter because the door was wide open and the driver shifted it hard as shit, right? I'm, I'm picking myself up. Boom. As the sprinter's leaving me, I look back to see what the fuck is near me. Two more niggas with guns is outside the van. Not, oh my God. Not counting the nigga that was just in the van. Two more niggas with guns is outside the van. Oh, nah. Right? Outside the sprinter. The squad pulled up on some Fortnite shit. Hey, um, so, I did what, what the fuck I, I could do in, in a sense of um getting the fuck out of there because there was no story. If y'all, I could show y'all, I could really show y'all the block if y'all want to see it, like, of what I'm talking about and how, like, there wasn't really nowhere for me to go. But um, yeah, the, they were in the direction for niggas that was saying, "Oh, he should ran inside the store," or there was niggas saying, "Oh, he should never hop." I didn't, I didn't willingly get out the fucking sprinter, nigga. I didn't get out the sprinter, and I also seen niggas saying niggas pull me out the sprinter. No, no nigga put hands on me to come out this. No, that was not the case at all. I didn't, I didn't jump out the sprinter. I didn't hop out the sprinter intentionally. I got up to push the nigga before I could even get my left leg up. The nigga, we're out the van. I'm out the van, and. As I'm recollecting myself, I see this nigga fall out the van too. The third gun. What's that? What's that? Uh, what's that video, Joe? Okay, okay, okay. This nigga's just trying. So, um, anyway, right? Um, I'm on the ground. I see two niggas with guns. Third niggas falling out the van. I'm running down the street, trying to catch, trying to get to the, trying to get back in the sprinter, right? in my mind these niggas are going to be able to they're going to they're going to realize i'm not in the van they're going to realize i fell out the van and the gunman fell out the van which means nigga pick me up <laughs> that's what i'm that's that's my thought process right the door yo chat let's keep it a bean hey this was some yfn lucci shit hey yo this thing yo this nigga dead <laughs> leave yo you know how yfn lucci kicked their niggas out uh, yo the reason why he locked up one of their niggas got like you know shot they just kicked that nigga out of the van and kept it moving man or still open and i'm yelling yo i'm yelling as loud as i can i got all my shit on me still i got a good lead on niggas niggas haven't touched me none of that shit i'm running up the fucking block right um sprinter van the door closes i'm like okay i'm still running I, i'm did you, niggas must just i still got hope for this i'm still running niggas are chasing me now it's three niggas chasing me now it's three niggas chasing me because I'm, I'm i'm running but i'm looking back every about five seconds to see what's behind me 
if niggas gonna give up because it's broad daylight and niggas already, you know, fucking up and shit, right? Was it broad daylight? It's bail, if niggas gonna hog me, whatever. I'm looking back. More I look back, niggas getting closer. And then I see one nigga stop. He goes to get in a car. This is when I realize, oh shit, these niggas had this shit plain because nigga, they have a driver, gang. They have a driver. Now it's four niggas on this whole shit. They have a driver. So he get in the car. You should have cut it, cut it wet, bro. If y'all seen where the fuck I was at, there's none of that, right? <clears throat> um, bro, get in the car. I ain't gonna lie, I gotta take a shot for this one. But I'm still getting chased. Um, he hop out. Oh, oh, not nah, oh, towards the sprinter. I'm still chasing the sprinter. Um, here's why I realized she was just damn near over, right? I'm not talking about my life now. I'm talking about like just I shit was just about to go down like left. It wasn't no saving me at this point, right? The sprinter stopped at the stop sign, right? There's an intersection. Damn, should I? Y'all niggas want to see this shit on Google Earth or y'all really don't give a fuck? I'll show y'all the whole block so it makes sense to y'all. But if not, I don't give no fuck. Yeah? All right, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Let me show y'all niggas, man. Let me show y'all niggas. I seen it on Google Earth already. I ain't gonna lie. Um... The area though is fake outdated. Like it's gonna show some construction because now but now, like how it looks now is none is like it look it's the, the same landscape, you know what I'm saying? But it's um damn can this shit load though? Niggas, this GTA, I'm gonna put my camera back on. Ass crack all out running. Nah, nah, it wasn't nothing like that. And my pants ain't come on, none of my clothes came off, my shoes ain't come off, none of that shit. It's my ass crack. So oh, uh Google Maps. Do Google Maps. I right, bet. Google Maps. I'm put my camera on. I'm put my camera back on too long. Um Niggas was niggas was hearing round of applause. Don't show your address. I ain't gonna lie, I don't know if I leaked that shit or not, but you know. Honey Queens. Quay. East. Um, how you do the how you do the street view shit on here, chat? How you do the street view, the street view shit on here? I'm gonna skip a they're little bit later. past it. Here we go, cause they gonna find it. Here we go. Turn cam on. Oh fuck! The sprinter was here the whole time, right? I right, so so look. So fast forward. So I'm I'm gonna just tell it from here now, right? And just point out to where chilling left. There's, I get out, I fall out the van. There's, there's a gun nigga right. There's a, there's a gunman right here. There's a gunman like a little bit right behind them, right? Niggas with guns in their hands. Uh, first nigga, the first nigga that was in the van had an extended mag, but like I told y'all, nigga was holding it by the mag. I wasn't like, word. Um, so what happens, right? Oh, all right. So I already told y'all how niggas drove. So niggas is driving. I'm yelling, right? I'm, I'm running all the way up here. Pick me up! Pick me up, gang! Guns are right here by the... I'm not running towards the guns, nigga. The niggas with guns are, are basically around the door. I'm not running towards... I'm running away from the guns. That's what... The, that's just what I'm doing, right? I'm getting, I'm getting the fuck away from the guns. Because I had... I know, per, I know for a fact I had time to make it to the sprinter. I had a crazy lead on niggas. I could have made it inside the sprinter if niggas would have realized I wasn't in the sprinter. Right? So, um... So I'm running. I'm running. I'm I'm running. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna show y'all where I, where I where I got stopped at and shit. So this is the intersection I'm talking about. The sprinter make it all the way up here. When they hit this right, I know it's over with. It's none I can do, right? Because it hits a right. It, it got it got up here. It stopped. And while I'm running, I'm like, oh my god, it stopped. They notice I'm not there. They about to come back. That shit hit a right, gang. I ain't seen that sprinter since. I didn't see that sprinter again. Oh, nah. Yo, chat. Chat. Are we leaving the gang or what? Yo, who in the chat right now? Let me see who's in the chat. Tata, you definitely leaving. You, you definitely leaving the gang. You definitely leaving the gang. Let me see who's in the Yo, Yo, four grams. I know four grams. He, he, he being someone to calls with me. He definitely leaving. Yo, Trapmar. I know you, Trapmar. You're leaving too. I'm going to see if I see a solid nigga in here who going to double back. Four grams is leaving. Hold on, hold on. I know y'all. 
You see, I know my, hey, a lot of y'all been supporting me from like day one. So I know y'all. I'm going to scroll down and tell y'all who, oh yeah, oh, I see that bitch ass nigga. Excellent. He definitely leaving. Actually, he won't even be there. Okay. Excellent. I see you, stupid ass nigga. Uh, let me see. Don Snaps. Uh, I don't think, I, 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 Don Snaps, I think you're the driver. You're going to be the driver. Like, you, you're, you're out of there. I'm trying to see if I see, yo, Britney, bitch. Stop it, Britney. Yo, first of all, I'm going to keep it 100 with you. Chat, let's keep it 100. If it's you and your girl or you and your homegirl, do you think your homegirl going to double back? Hell nah. Nigga, you going to see her when you see her, dog. Nah, Brittany, I, I'm not believing that. I'm not believing that. Let me see. I got to see if I see a real one in the chat. By the way, I'm also I'm also looking uh, on YouTube. Ben Block, you know you're not spinning back. I know that. Fast Life J. Nah, Fast Life J look like he might spin back. He, he seemed like a crash out victim. Like He seemed like, yo, he one of them niggas. He not going back. Yeah, I think you might spin. Let me see who else. Let's see who else. Max Cardio. Nigga, your name is Cardio, which means you're running, nigga. You're not spinning back. Tell me you're spinning back. Fuck out of here. <laughs> Fuck out of here. Let me see who else, man. I could tell by some of y'all names. Like, a lot of y'all, I know y'all. Y'all know y'all been trolling me for years, right? So, like, I, I know, like, how y'all be acting in situations like this. Hold on. Let me see what's cracking. Somebody says, it's, that's not your real mans if they dip on you like that. I mean, I agree. You, you know what I was thinking? I was thinking this, real talk. I was thinking this right now. I, right, I'm in the car, like, with, with my day ones. Do I spin back? Now, we kind of got to spin back. Oh, uh, you see, you see, you got somebody talking about. Oh no, you're the prize. You don't spin back. Nah, I can't. Like, I can't leave my man's out there like that, bro. Yo, hold on. Here's what I'm saying. Here's what I'm saying. Truth be told, I chat. Is this fake? Yo, I'm spinning back, but like, uh, this is like a weird situation because it's not like I could get a blick and spin back. It's like you're either gonna spin back and you're spinning back to the three niggas with the blicks. Or you're going to just be like, pew, I'm out of there. <sighs> Yo, Strange Film says, no man left behind. You're a liar. <laughs> Tyo, what's racking? Wait, are you spinning? Yo, 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 oh, I used to play 2K with Tyo. Yo, Tyo, what's cracking, nigga? You, you ain't popping back. Uh, Touchdown says, I'm going to double back and catch him. Here's the thing. I'm a double back too. It's just when I'm a double back. Am I doubling back like immediately on a U-turn? Or I might like, you know, hit that right and then I'm doubling back in 10 minutes. Somebody says, yo, Jess, yo, Jess, stop playing. Yo, Jess. Yo, Jess on YouTube. Thank you for the five, but stop playing. She said, Big Ack will leave would leave Leaf for dead on the road. Yo, why would you even say some shit like that? Hell no. Nah. Hell no. Nah. Hell no. Nah. Because I'm gonna be honest. I would think if I was left, he would come get me. Somebody said 10 minutes he cooked. Somebody said run them over. Yo, that sounds good with the run them over type shit, huh? Y'all niggas think y'all shook night. All right, bet. Let's keep hearing the story. I didn't see that's from the game. Just being honest. I didn't see that from now one more time. So uh back to back to me. Now, now I'm on the block. All the attention is on me. That gunman that that, that gunman that fell out the truck, he like, fuck it. I can't get that annoying nigga. I'm gonna get this nigga with jewelry. Right? He um, so he joined the other two niggas chasing me. Like I told y'all, one nigga got in the car, drove up. I make it from the store that's all the way up here, all the way. All the way, not fully to the corner. What's about right somewhere in this area? It's a lot of construction. Y'all niggas can't really see. These sidewalks are clear as fuck right now, like current day. A lot of construction though. I make it to like right here, right before niggas come and slow me down. And now I'm in full defense mode. I'm swatting niggas away. I'm doing whatever the fuck I can. The first nigga to, to approach me was a nigga out the car. I'm pushing him off, right? Cause he not he not he not hopping out like. All right, chat. The next question I got to ask everybody in here, and I'm talking to women, everybody alike. You're the nigga who fell out the car, 
or you're the girl who fell out the car. So now the gunman is on you. Now, I want y'all to say the right thing. So I'm going to really give y'all almost the key to the answer. Because, you know, rest in peace to anybody ever heard of Stack Bundles? Stack Bundles, a legendary um, New York rapper. But he was one of those New York rappers who wouldn't give it up. And unfortunately, it cost him his life. Right? Chat, you fell out the car. It's you versus three niggas. They got guns. You don't got nothing. They said, give me that shit. Are we giving it up or are they going to have to really do something to get it off of you? I'm giving it up. I'm giving it up. By the way, rest in peace, take bundles. You know what I mean? You know, you know I, I mentioned his name with, 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 with no disrespect at all in my tone. Um, are we giving it up, chat? You're, we're outside the car. Are we giving it up? Straight gun to my head. I got to see it. Yo, whole lot of reams. Shut the fuck up, Tomah. You dying. Hey, hey, brown skin dragon. What's cracking with you, yo? <laughs> she said, t t tell them granny do voodoo. Man, niggas got guns in your face. They don't care about no voodoo. Who else? Somebody said, <laughs> somebody said, chat, we giving it up. We got responsibilities out here. Hey, I think you should give it up. Should I ain't go somewhere, bro? Let's get back to the story. Y'all capping He's up. popping out, slowing me down so the niggas can catch up. Did you have your phone? Yeah, yeah, I have my phone. But it wasn't no time to stop and make no fucking call and, or none of that shit. It, it, wasn't, it wasn't time for none of that shit. Was there no public? Bro. It was like, nah, on this street? Nah, nah, nah. I didn't, I, we didn't run, run past no... This street is not busy at all. That's the thing. This little intersection is, like, this shit is of cars, but civilians walking past? Nay. Nothing. Right. So, um, so I'm tussling with this one nigga. Right. And now it's three niggas. Now, now the two niggas catch up and boom, I hit the ground just cause oh, it's, it's three niggas before us. Right. And now, now it's a nigga. Um, now it's definitely a gunpoint. I mean, I, I hear a nigga talking, right. Cause I'm, I'm doing the best I can to hold on to all of my shit. Cause the last thing in my mind was like, nah, it, it don't even matter. Listen, I'm doing the best I can to hold on to all of my shit, which in the moment wasn't the smartest idea, but I'm thinking, mind you, I'm thinking, yo, where would a lot of niggas, somebody's going to come back, like something's going to happen. So I'm holding on as long as I can, right? I'm holding on to my chain. I'm hold, I got my, oh, I got my Cardis in one hand, right? My Cardis fell off my face from running. Like they fell off my face. I'm, so I, I grabbed them. Some, they're on my hand now. I got my wallet in my left pocket. I got my Cardi on my left wrist, chain on my neck. That's, it, oh, phone, phone in my hoodie pocket. Phone in my hoodie pocket. They didn't go in my hoodie pocket. Probably only like I kept my phone, right? Thank God. So, oh, bracelet on me too. I, and I didn't lose my bracelet. I see, I see a lot of niggas think I lost my bracelet. I didn't lose my bracelet. Um, so, boom, I hit the ground, right? Even on the ground, I'm doing the best I can to scratch. Niggas trying to grab onto my chain. I grab onto my chain. I, I grab onto my chain. It breaks. Because how hard he yanked it, it breaks. I got to, um, Took a picture of the, uh Hold on, chat. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. Cap, we're gonna have to do a fact check on your jewelry. Let me tell you this. Hey, remember when Freddie Gibbs was getting his ass beat by at least like 50 geriatric goons? You know, you know his chain never fully came off. Why? Yo, them Cuban links. And if them shits is real and you got that real gold, bro, them shits ain't really about a snap like that. You could pull it. It could be three niggas pulling it. It's going to, like, be distorted, but it ain't going to snap. So I'm like, wait, your chain just got snapped by, like, hmm. Cap, we're going to have to do some appraisals on your jewelry now. Here we go. Hold on. Hold on. Let me show y'all niggas. Matter of fact, yeah. Oh, I got it right here. Hold on. This was what was left in my chain because, like, I'm holding on to a small piece. He's grabbing it by the pendant and the rest. It breaks. Right? This is my chain, by the way. It's like a fucking bracelet now. This is my chain. My whole, that cute, that whole, however long the fuck the Cuban was, too. And my glasses broke, obviously, too, because I'm fine. I'm fine with niggas for it. Damn, your Cardi too? Yeah. Yo, chat. Chat. We all gang. Y'all my mans. Y'all would do anything for me. 
I tell y'all I'll do anything for y'all. Same situation. I drive off, but I leave y'all. Y'all are fighting for your life with three niggas. I'm out of there. Okay? Are you mad at me? Because he's describing the situation. They left him. He said when that sprinter hit the right, he thought they were going to double back for him. They never came back. He ain't never seen a sprinter again. Would y'all be mad or not? It's blurry as shit, but you can see my, my bracelet is still here. That's my bracelet. That shit is fine. Right? But I'm fighting for niggas for all of my shit, so it's breaking. My card is just broken in my hand. I, I'm seeing it. I actually stabbed the shit out of me. Right? Actually, I don't, I don't know if y'all niggas can tell, but that, that's like from the Cardi. Mm, that, that shit ain't shit. Man. It, no major injury, right? But that's my Cardi. Um, that shit stabbed the shit out of me. Uh, uh, my chain break. Now they got the chain, right? And my right hand is my Cardi's. They're broken too. And then you got two niggas going for my left wrist while I'm on the ground. And that's my watch. Untie my watch and uh, wallet out the left pocket, right? So, um, then go for the bracelet. Then go for my phone. Sugar, what up, man? I <laughs> Sugar, I see you. It was over before that, right? Um, ain't go for the chain. Ain't go for the bracelet. Uh, yeah, niggas got back in the car. I get up. I recollect myself. I'm fucked up. Oh, wait, wait. I, I mean, I skipped a lot. I, I ain't gonna lie. Um, it was some shit said that, you know, I probably, it probably would have got me a little bit less injured than I was. But, I mean, it is what it is. Fuck it. I, I wasn't talking for the most part. Um, but because of the movement I was doing, like, in the, all the, because I wasn't handing shit over, you know, and I'm making niggas waste time and they're like, I'm burning time and shit. Niggas is, yo. Give all your shit. And I told y'all what he said in the, in the Discord too. Somebody screen recorded my shit. Um, give all your shit up or I'm gonna blow your brains out, type shit, right? T Toronto accent. Couldn't to this day, you know, the accents is just I, I couldn't take it serious, but it don't matter. You know what I'm saying? My shit already gone, right? Um, whether I wanted to give it up or not, it was gone. Uh, but yeah. He threatened to um, you know, basically shoot, shoot me in the fucking head. Fine, if, if I ain't stopped resisting and holding on to my shit. Should I stop? Yeah. Did I stop? No, because I'm just like, fuck it. I, I, I really, my, my mind is telling me. Chat, I hate to cut, um, and salute to Cap. Yo, I fuck with Cap. Obviously, I know I fuck with Annoying. Those are my guys. But I'm going to be honest with y'all. Bro, if y'all making these, like, little story time videos, y'all should have went to the police, bro. Bro, y'all wearing all this jewelry. Y'all literally are sitting ducks. Shit is really sweet with y'all. Niggas really know they could rob you and nothing happens. You're not getting no get back. You're not you're not finna spin. You're not about to do nothing. You're about to just go on Twitch and YouTube and tell a story time. Brother, you should have just told the police. And I'm talking to both of y'all. Y'all niggas are with all due respect, and and I'm not I'm not gangster neither. Y'all niggas do motherfucking GTA RP and again if you're down to tell this detail on a Twitch stream, why not just tell the motherfucking police and follow and file a police report that you could get the equivalent value of what your jewelry supposedly was appraised for? What like like this just sounds stupid to me. And by the way, this is me. Like I I've I've talked to annoying like privately. I'm like, yo, bro. Bro, I know this might not be something that like really really tickles your fancy paws but like bro like you gotta niggas robbing you and shit bro just file a police report my nigga like y'all not spinning bro like it's not like nothing but there's nothing there's no ramifications behind this no niggas is about to get blitz ain't nothing happening bro just report it to the police do y'all thing get your insurance claim and get the fuck on out of there am i tripping like bro you're going to get robbed and do a video on Twitch that's going to get you 50 bucks. And you're still not going to have your chain. You're still not going to have your jewelry that's worth $30,000. You're going to do a video that the ad revenue is going to be for 50 bucks. You're not going to spin. You're not going to do nothing to get your shit back. But people could be like, oh, at least he ain't tell the cops. Bro, y'all not gangsters. I've been trying to tell all my streamer niggas, y'all not gangsters. 
Don't come. Hey, listen, for all y'all streamers, we don't care if you get robbed. Yo, call the police. Real talk. I'm telling every streamer that. If you not about to go slide, call the police. And if you don't do either, you're a fucking idiot. Niggas robbed you. You're not going to go get back. And you don't want to call the police. You just want to make a story time about it. Yeah, you're an idiot. I'm sorry. You're an idiot. You're an idiot. It's either, bro, you, yo, you got to pick a side, my nigga. There's repercussions to everything you're going to do to me in life. If I'm on, if I feel like I'm on some gangster shit and I got gangsters with me, them niggas better slide because what the fuck are we doing? Or if that's not happening, nigga, I'm a civilian, nigga. You're going to fucking jail. I ain't got time for no bullshit. So when I be watching these streamers, they be telling these story times. Why are you even telling a story time if you're not going to report it to the cops? Why are you telling a story time if you ain't about to go get your shit back? What the fuck are you doing this for? Content? You're getting robbed for content? That's not popping. You're getting robbed for content. That's not lit. Pick a side. Hold on. I ain't no snitch. I don't want to talk to the police. All right, bet. Cool. Let me tell you what niggas who ain't snitches and people who don't report to the police do. When a nigga try to run run they shit, especially they jewelry, niggas disrespected you. Nigga think you a bitch. A nigga really think you ain't whatever. What you finna do? You about to go spit on them niggas? You about to go find out who did that to you? Y'all know the bitches I was with y'all. Y'all know who lined y'all. Y'all about to go handle that? Oh, you're not? Y'all just going to make a YouTube video about it and hope for sympathy and just file a police report, bro. Just file a police report. Chat, I'm just talking about actionable items. If you don't want to file a police report, but you want to make a story time... Bro, with all due respect, Cap about to make $50 for this video, bro. Your jewelry got taken for $40,000, my nigga. You're not about to get nobody shot, nobody robbed. You ain't getting none of your jewelry back. They're actually, the niggas who took your jewelry is telling me that you could pay for the shit back. You're not like that. Bro, you're either going to go spin or you're, you should file a police report. Stop thinking, and this is my new thing, bro, like, oh, y'all, like, y'all streamers, bro, bro, I'm way closer in hip-hop than all of y'all, bro, and I know I'm not gangster, like, I don't know why y'all think that y'all role players gangsters and y'all gangsters, y'all get robbed, you gotta get your shit back, if you don't get your shit back and you ain't spinning, you should have went to the police, I'm sorry. I'll play the rest of this video. Then These I'm niggas gone. is not about to just. Right here, downtown? No, nigga. And it can happen. That's not like my mindset was not the right way to go about shit. But, you know, fuck it, right? Um, I fought niggas until shit was just, I couldn't, I couldn't fight with niggas no more. My shit, my chain was ripped. My glasses broke. Um, I couldn't do shit about two niggas holding on to my arm and I'm on the ground. My party, I couldn't do shit about that. So, uh, they bail. Um, hey, Bill. I get up. Think uh, I check what I still got on me. I got half. I got half a Cartier. Not even half. I got a lens. I got this is what I had left in my car. I had a lens, and I had what I thought was my bracelet. No, no, no I knew it was my chain because I my, that shit ripped. Um, and I was surprised I still had my bracelet because they went on my wrist. I'm, I'm I don't know why they didn't take my bracelet. Uh, I had my phone. Thank God, if I had my phone, I probably would have actually really been fucked. While it, I was like, Oh, my bad, my bad. Chat, 
I've been trying to tell a lot of these streamers, like, bro, like, bro, y'all got to get out of this persona y'all live in. I ain't trying to call no names. And I'm like, bro, I know some of these niggas. Bro, I don't give a fuck how much you listen to K-Flock. You're not him. K-Flock is actually in jail for murder. You're, you, my nigga, you have, my nigga, you have never shot a gun. You know what I mean? So, that's goofy shit. I, I, I don't even want to, like, you know, pick on and try to call out certain people on it, but... Um, for the most part, I'm just telling all streamers, bro, if you if you on Twitch.tv, if you on YouTube.com streaming all the time, you ain't no gangster like that, bro. Like, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't care who you are. Don't act like you're moving like K-Flocked, and don't act like you're moving like some of these other niggas, all right? Some of these other niggas, if a nigga robbed him, Blocks is getting shot up, nigga. Like, y'all niggas is going to just sit there and cry and make story time videos. That's cute, but that ain't you. File some police reports, and I'll help y'all do it, okay? Anyway, um, real quick, I'm going to hit two more topics because, damn, it's 2.38. I'm going to hit two more topics, and we out of here. Somebody said, Convy, yo, 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 salute to my nigga. Yo, Convy's not like that. What the fuck is that niggas talking about? My nigga, Convy likes K-Flock. Convy's not K-Flock, bro. None of these niggas is, K-Flock is down to kill niggas. These niggas is YouTubers. What are we talking about? And you, and, and. You could tell Convy I said that. Convy's my man's. Like, nigga. Nigga, me and Convy used to play Fortnite when that nigga was making dick sucking noises. That's facts. That nigga was, yo, that nigga was not like that. Like, I'm sorry to say, y'all niggas, all y'all, the majority of y'all Twitch streamers who are acting like y'all are gangsters, y'all, if y'all were like that, you wouldn't be streaming. You'd be catching charges. That's a fact. And I'm not trying to bitch y'all because I ain't like that neither. But I will not let y'all niggas keep purporting this image. And this is why I got to start. Like me, I'm older than most of y'all niggas. I'm going to just make it known. None of y'all niggas ain't like that. And you know what? If any of y'all niggas, and y'all could react to this video. If you if you got ran up on by a nigga in Toronto with a gun, you're, you're going to be fumbling and bumbling and giving it up. Because you're not like that. If you're a Twitch streamer, you're not like that. That I've been saying this for the longest. You're not like that. Tell me a, a Twitch streamer that's like that, and then tell me when he's been in a situation where he did opposite. None of them. Okay. Um, let me get like two topics real quick in the last ten minutes. <laughs> and by the way, here's the thing too, bro. I don't want to encourage men to crash out, bro. Like that's not cool, right? I don't look at C Blue like a streamer. C Blue's not no fucking streamer like that, bro. Like C Blue starts streaming after he, after he got into music, bro. You know what I mean? T Grizzly's not a streamer, bro. I'm talking about. Yo, there's a whole Bronx drill movement wave when it comes to streaming. All these niggas think because you could dance, because you could do this and do this and, like, your motherfucking knees is strong. It don't mean that you a gangster. A nigga pull out really a gun on you and you don't got nothing, you're going to panic. And I'm not saying it's just you. Everybody. I'd panic, too. It's just that I'd be watching, like, I'd be watching, like, the Twitch gangsters. I'm like, what are they talking about? Somebody says Duke Dennis. I don't know Duke Duke Dennis like that. Kai Snyder not no fucking gangster. What are y'all talking about? DJ Ghost, I think DJ Ghost a crip on some real shit. So I ain't gonna lie. If I saw a video of DJ uh DJ Ghost like just folding up, I ain't gonna lie, I'm gonna look at that a little bit different because I don't look at DJ Ghost as a YouTuber. I'm talking about like there is a popularity with artists who want to um who think just emulating a lifestyle or whatever means you're like that. No, it, it's a lot that goes into it. Somebody say you're not like that. You're damn right I'm not like that. Play this. You, you know what happened? Y'all niggas do that to me in Toronto or any place, nigga. I'm hitting y'all with the illest recall y'all ever, nigga. I'm having the I'm having the fucking feds raid your mama's crib, your grandmama's crib. They might even raid your great grandmother's grave, nigga. Fucking with me. I ain't no gangster, nothing like that. You feel me? So I ain't going to be the one to tell y'all no story time, nigga. I'm going to tell you in a police report. 
facts. You feel me? What the fuck am I telling y'all on a story? Hey, it's a story time. I got robbed, and yeah, we got told the driver to peel out. Nigga, I've been telling that to the cops, nigga. Y'all niggas going to jail. Fuck is y'all niggas talking about? Fuck is, like, fuck, I got to prove. Nigga, I pay taxes, nigga. The fuck is you, fuck are we, fuck are we doing? That's why I be looking at these YouTubers like, yo, y'all are YouTubers. Nobody think y'all tough. Nobody think y'all gangsters. Y'all sh like, don't even do a story time. Go to the cops. I'm sorry, like, yo, these niggas, like, I, the whole time these niggas doing, like, story times, I, and I'm even talking to my niggas, Captain Annoying, like, Captain, I'm like, so y'all gonna do a story time, the niggas who robbed you ain't never gonna get touched, there's no ramifications for them, so, so you're doing a story time for clout, because you're not getting your shit back, because they want you to pay for it, yes, the niggas who took that nigga shit, they hit me up, they said, that nigga could get his shit back if he pays for it. You don't want to pay for it. You're not gangster enough to go get it. Because I could I could tell them who got it. But you ain't gangster enough to go, go to them Toronto niggas to go get it. You're not getting that shit back, period. So you're not gangster enough to get it. You don't want to pay for it. But you don't want to file a police report. This nigga is a file a police report, my nigga. <laughs> Do you get what I mean? <laughs> Somebody said, remember when Phantom fake? I don't know what y'all talking about with that. <laughs> All right. Okay. Um. Wait. There might be chat. All right. I don't even know why I spent that much time on that topic. By the way, chat, I will be on tomorrow for another daytime stream. But let me try to hit two topics real quick. Okay. Let me try to get to two topics real quick all right no more drake topics no more joe button no more like let me see if i can find like two regular topics hmm. tired of the, even the birdman shit too right let me go on my page let's see what's cracking on there uh we talked about julio fulio oh let's talk about this thing yo hey let me tell you this man yo I fuck with Robert Allen. Yo, this fat nigga right here, I fuck with him. I'm going to be honest with you. See, now, granted, I don't, actually, I don't fuck with him all the way. Because he was a nigga who know he not about that murder life. He not about that street nigga shit. But he did engage in it. Right? Now, once he realized he's going to have real circumstances, he decided to snitch. So he snitched on all the people in X's case. And I'm not mad at him for doing it because I'm glad that case got solved. You know what I mean? He's a dude. Everybody got life. He got five years. Okay? So this fat nigga right here, he was the fourth person who was involved in the robbery and subsequent murder of XXX and Tacion. He snitched on everybody else. By the way, he also got, you know, there was supposed to be $15,000 allocated to everybody. He didn't get that. They gave him like $5,000. So a lot of people say, yo, you didn't give him the right amount of money. That's why he snitched. Now, here's the thing. His name is coming back up. By the way, he's doing five years. Every All his codees for the ex situation is doing life. His name is coming back up because apparently he was down to get out of jail or down a stitch on everybody to get out of jail. Not only the people that was involved in the ex case. Apparently, him and Melly were in the same jail together. And apparently, at one point, may have been possible cellmates or within the same what they call pod. And apparently he told, you know, prosecutors, yo, he was trying to, like, get out of all jail time, even though, you know, he was involved in something that got somebody killed, which was X. He offered up information to say he knew information about X. No, no, not X. Melly from being around Melly in jail. So he's actually li listed as a witness. And apparently he's supposed to testify that he knows certain situations that um or, or certain things that Melly said in jail that could incriminate him to killing his two best friends, Sack Chaser and Juvie, and he's actually a potential witness. Now, granted, he was already given five years, so he was already sentenced to five years because of his snitching in the X case. I don't know if he's gonna try to snitch in this Melly case. Maybe that could get him out immediately. But if you ask me. What his contribution is going to be is going to he's going to probably say, yo, Melly told me he killed them people. And 
I could testify to that. Now, granted, he has a very, like, you know, varied history. Like, yo, who would trust the guy who killed X and, you know, has a checkered past? But looked like he, you know, he was definitely down to turn his back on his three co-defendants. He snitched on them, right, for the five years. They got life. Who says he won't snitch on Melly even though he don't even know Melly really like that? He knows Melly only from jail. He'll snitch on Melly if they'd be like, yo, instead of five years, you get out in six months. So that's the reason why, and I'll go to the next slide, um, the state has, you know, amended what they're calling the exhibit. They said, listen, and by the way, this is what they have in um, Cortland Henry, which is uh, um, Bortland, right? They have in Bortland's case, they said, comes down the state of Florida by and through the undersigned assistant state attorney and pursuant to blah, 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 blah. Submit the following information, the names and addresses of all the persons presently known to the prosecutor to have information that may be relevant to any offense charged or any defense thereto or are. The guy who snitched his name is Robert Allen. He's right now in the Department of Corrections, blah, 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 blah. I'm actually surprised they even list exactly where he's at because he is a informant. And usually they try to hide informants. Like for example, six nine, they would not. The reason why six nine never got served with child support papers initially, they had six nine on a federal protected list as a cooperant, aka a snitch, that they wouldn't even give up his location in the federal penitentiary system to child support. So they were basically saying this guy cooperated so well. If we give up his location in the prison penitentiary system the people who he stitched on might kill him so we will actually stand on the fact that we're going to protect his location even if it's at the behest or even if it's against his baby mama's trying to serve him on child support and that's how 6ix9ine kind of evaded that right but this guy who's telling right he already told on, on the ex shit he got five years He's located at the Department of Corrections, blah, 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 da, da, da. It's like they actually kind of spell it out where he's at. But apparently he had information or gave information to the prosecutors that apparently would link Melly or and Bortland, a.k.a. Cortland Malik Henry, to the murder of YNW Juvie and Sack Chaser's murder. Okay. So that was a really interesting situation. So this guy who was really in, Melly, uh, in X's case looked like he might have some information to tell on Melly just to get out of time. And by the way, I ain't going to lie to you. Truth be told, bro, I ain't no gangster. So, bro, I, I don't think this fat nigga got, I think he's right in doing what he got to do. He fat. He not trying to eat that, that cornbread and that dry ass meatloaf. He want to be free to eat McDonald's, Wendy's. He want to eat in and out and all that type of shit. And he realized he got a snitch. That's just the name of the game. And he already snitched on his co-defendants for the X case. And he got five years. He's realizing if he snitch a little bit more, he could get let out. Fuck five years in a couple of months. So he's down to snitch on Melly. Again, I like Melly, but shit. Just think about it if it was you. Shit, I snitch on all these niggas. Fuck. That's what you doing. Anyway, all right, cool. Pooh Shiesty. Look at Pooh Shiesty. With, uh, he he gave, gave us some updated pictures. He put a rat emoji in front of one guy. And um, he took a couple other pictures. I'm going to be honest with you. I think Pooh Shiesty is going to come home to a real great ovation. Um, Pooh Shiesty is a guy, if you hear about why he got locked up, he was living exactly what he rapped. You know what I mean? He said, I don't need security. I got my own fire in the club. He's accused of shooting security in a club. Basically, the security was trying to intervene. He shot the security because you know why? He had his own fire in the club. That's the nigga living his own raps. So essentially, Pooh Shiesty is the guy who he's always rapped about. We haven't heard anything about him snitching. There was some little dust up, but people have always, you know, it, it came to be true that Pooh Shice is as real as it is, so he ain't no snitch. So I think when Pooh Shice get out, which apparently is going to be in, they're telling me between two to three years, 
or even less, Pooh is going to be a motherfucking monster in the rap game. People are going to love him because he's a definition of being a gangster in the streets, taking your time, and coming back, holding your head up high, not telling on nobody. Pooh Shiesty is the real. Okay? So he posts these pictures because he knows when he comes back, he's going to be the motherfucking king. Okay? Let me see what else is going on. Javante Davis with a two million dollar chain. I will pass that for now. Trippy Red with this type of shit. What the fuck is this? I don't even know what the fuck is this. Trippy, what are you doing, brother? Did Trippy ever get back his girl? I gotta look at her. Her name is Sky Morales. Sky Morales. He when he dropped his album, he was like, yo, I cheated on her, and he was just like, I need her back. And you know what I mean? I always thought like she wouldn't really leave him, but like he definitely loves her a lot. Did he get back with her? Or did she get back with him, actually? I haven't seen much of that, but... Mm. Oh, look. It says three weeks ago. She says she's in Turks and Caicos. Which, by the way, chat. Yo, I was doing an interview with uh, Jason Lee today. And Jason Lee said something to me. Chat, y'all gotta hold me accountable. He said, Ack, you know what I realized about you? Because he said he was on vacation for the last week, three weeks. He said, Ack, you live this hip-hop shit. And I told him, I said, yo, you know I was, going to, I was supposed to go on vacation for the last, like, I don't know, three or four months? And anytime people around me have mentioned vacation, I've canceled it. And I'm like, yo, at this point, if I ever go on vacation, it's going to be in, like, January or so. And he was just saying, yo, Ack, you live this, this hip-hop shit and this cultural shit. And... He basically was just like, yo, bro, that's not my life. And I was just like, damn, am I still the only nigga who cares so much about this that I, that's is still my life? But anyway, I say that to say because, um, you know, Sky, who's Trippy's girl, they're in Turks and Caicos. And I was thinking about going there, but I'm like, oh, fuck that. I got to, like, keep working. Anyway, uh, Trippy was trying to get his girl back. Uh, I think he got her, got her back, right? Three weeks ago, she's in Turks. He says, should I be a photographer, yes or no? Then he says, literally my twin making that face. Clearly, clearly he brought her there, right? Like, you know, he's not commenting like that if he's not with her, right? So, I'm glad he's happy. I'm glad he's happy. Yeah. Yo, glad he hate. Thank you for that. He said, yo, act. FBG murder trial is starting tomorrow. So, Hey, for everybody who doesn't know, FBG Duck, FBG Duck, FBG Duck's murder trial starts tomorrow. Now, I need y'all to really fuck with me and really help me to figure out how we're going to do this, right? We've covered so many trials, but here's the thing. The trial of FBG Duck rolls into a RICO case. That charges the, it, they call it the the O Block Gang, which is Muwap and a few other people. Vaughn would have been there if he didn't die. Now, here's why I need y'all to help me. Because, you know when we're covering <sighs> Young Thug or Melly or Tori. Actually, Tori wasn't publicized, but... Melly and Thug's cases are publicized. Here's the thing about federal cases. The reason why you never saw 6 9 live in video testifying, federal cases don't usually, and actually this is 99.9% .9 of, of the times, they don't approve of cameras in the hearing. So... Whether it's Takashi or, you know, by the way, this is a federal case where they charged the O Block gang because now it's a RICO case. We won't get video of Muwap and the other guys associated, allegedly, according to the murder affidavit. We won't see them in, in trial. Now, here's the thing. I could obviously pay people to send them to the, 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 um, the court, right, which I'm down to do. But we won't get video footage. You know how we see video footage of Melly? We won't see video footage of this um, FBG duck shit because 
the feds do not typically they don't allow videotape live um feeds for what they're doing okay in florida florida allows it a lot but state but, but federally they don't okay so again um if if you guys want me to cover this fbg duck thing which i know is a huge deal i'm gonna have to pay someone to go to that federal court every day and i'm down to do it just let me know if you want that to be the case. It's just that we won't have a live feed. You know how with the Tory thing, we didn't have someone in court, but we had people that gave us updates. I would have to pay, I'm going to have to pay someone to go sit in that federal court for the trial of Muwap and those other guys. And I'm down to do it, okay? Uh Kawhi, thank you for the five. He says any update in talking with Destiny? Are you talking about Destiny like the, the chick who's been on stream a lot of times. Oh, no, he's talking about Destiny, the streamer. He says, he's sadly in Sweden right now, but he mentioned he's in communication with you. I'm always trying to do something with Destiny. I think he's a tremendous, talent, talented person, and I'm always down to do something with him, obviously. Right? Okay. Somebody said, Hassan Campbell would have bent over and screamed and take. What are you talking about, T-Rex? T-Rex, chill, bro. I said, accurate, real one. Thank you, bro. We're going to figure it out, okay? Uh, T-Rex also, he said, yo, surviving Toronto season one. Thank you. I don't clock out. Said, yo, they're going to have to smoke before before they, rock, they rob any of my niggas. Oh, really? That's how you're giving it up? Okay. Um... Lil Lowski says, by the time you double, you double back, he going to be in a trunk. Champ says, yo, I'm hiding, and I'm hiding everything and pulling up. Cheyenne says, I love you, daddy, and you look so cute. Like, okay, okay get out of here. Um, Jess says, yo, big act will leave, leave. No, we're not doing that. Okay. It's all good. All right, chat. I get it. Okay, so. We're going to cover this FBG Duck thing that's starting tomorrow. So FBG Duck's trial is starting 10-10, um, which is October is the 10th month. But it's starting the 10th day, which is Tuesday. We it, it just we can't have a live feed into it. I wish I could show you all federal court. Federal court is so different from state court or any type of municipality or district court. Very different. These Fed, these Fed cases and these, you know, um, U.S. attorneys, they move so militant. I was trying to get some, um, actually was querying to get some information about, you know, young boy beat a Fed case in California, right? Um, remember when they thought they caught him with a gun, with a gun in the, in the Maybach and they sent the dog on him? He beat that case and I asked, I was trying to get the details about it. Bro, they weren't, yo. The feds are something else, dog. Trust me, the feds are something else, all right? Um, what else? Somebody said G Herbo dancing. Glad he hate. We'll talk about that afterwards. Okay. Somebody said, do you think Diddy's involved? Thank you for saying that. Let me address, like, probably one of the last topics we're going to talk about today. So, chat. And if you're an older person who watches my stream or you're someone who's really, like, in interested in this, this was kind of odd. So tell me why 50 Cent post up a picture of, you know who this is, Suge Knight, Tupac Shakur, allegedly the one of the last pictures he's ever t taken. Which, by the way, this picture is always, it's always made me emotional. Ooh, I spilled my liquor. I'm a rookie. Do I have a napkin somewhere? We have one. We have. Um. Oh, thank you. You know what I've thought, chat? You know, I would never do like a caption this for this picture, but like when I see this picture, the look in Pac's eyes, it just says more than I could even say myself. You have Suge Knight who's focused on the road, but the look in Pac's eyes. It says more than I could ever even say my damn self. And um, 
You know, unfortunately, this is one of the last pictures we ever seen of Pac. Just one of the fucking goats. And, um, you know, someone who meant so much to me. And this is in post because I never really, I wasn't there when he was doing all the shit he was doing. But this guy's a legend. But not only this picture, 50, who's a fucking troll, <laughs> gets under the comments and said, Damn, so Pac got lined by Brother Love. LOL, time to lawyer up. Shit fight gets sticky. And what he's talking about is, allegedly, when he says Pac got lined by Brother Love, he's alluding to the story that I feel like we all know at this point, which is that Keefe D and his nephew, Orlando Anderson, who Pac beat up earlier that night, was responsible for Pac dying. But here's the thing. They got the gun from this guy named Zip, who was associated to Diddy. And Diddy had instructed this guy Zip and these other people to have a bounty out on Pac and potentially Suge Knight because of their involvement and their threats happening on Bad Boy. So when 50 says this, and I think this this is where a lot of people are, they're thinking that, you know, Keefe Deegan caught up is probably going to involve um, Diddy at some point. I actually think it won't. I think Diddy's just too rich. Like, it's no way he hasn't tied up all loose ends if he was involved. I don't know if he was, and I don't want to make accusations, but if he was involved, he would have tied up all loose ends, right? Like, he's not going to be, like, caught out there like Keefe D. Like, Keefe D was broke. Keefe D used to do drugs. They shut his drug operation down. He was the guy who, after the proffer, he was known for beating the car that killed Tupac. And he started, he, he, he thought incorrectly that meant he could never be charged. And he kept going around from place to place telling that story. And he thought he could never be charged. That's why Keefe D is Keefe D. But, but. Diddy's not that. Diddy's not stupid. And if Diddy was associated with this, which I don't know, he would not be going around just telling everybody random stories trying to get him indicted. Also, Diddy probably would have tried to clean up a couple loose ends and also would have probably stayed away from all this fuckery himself. I don't think Diddy will ever get charged. By the way, I don't even want to accuse Diddy of doing such heinous things because if he's never going to get charged, even if we hear from people like Keefe D and others, it's so unfair to just accuse a motherfucker of ordering a hit or a murder. That sounds so, like, harsh. And um, I don't know. I really just don't know. You know, you know, 50s play with it saying, hey, Pac got lined by Brother Love, which is Diddy. But, bro, it, 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 it's too much for me to just put murder on someone's shoulder. That's... That's a heavy cross you would have to bear, right? Um, T-Rex. Oh, I read that before. Hmm. Someone said, act trying to get invited to one of the parties. Come on, bro. Please don't do that to me. Bro, y'all know I'm the realest that's ever lived, dog. Bro, I'll I'll go against whatever, even if it risks my life. Y'all know that. Don't, don't do that to me. Don't do that to me, please. Y'all... Y'all know I'm the guy. Like, bro, I would never I would never sell out for propaganda. I would never sell out for none of this bullshit. You know, I would always I would more risk my life than be a fucking coward and just acquiesce to talking points. So please don't do that to me. It hurts my feelings. Please don't do that to me. Okay. So when I said act trying to get a hug from the front and the back, I ain't into that. Yo, me out Jamia Kanye. I can't go back how I'm a group on the bond. I'm getting hugged from the back and the front by Diddy and a bunch of. Yeah. Yeah. I can't say. Y'all ain't gonna get me canceled. Y'all fuck out of here. <laughs> I retired my mama. Like, <laughs> I say the wrong thing to get me canceled. My mama gotta go back to work. Fuck out of here. Y'all know what it is. All right, anyway, yo, chat. Uh, 
unless I'm going to give you a 30 seconds or a minute spam a topic I haven't talked about. I'll hit it real quick. Other than that, y'all going to see me tomorrow. We're going to be back on tomorrow. We're, we got mad other things to talk about tomorrow. But I told you guys I was going to come back tonight. By the way, tomorrow um, I need all y'all to go to this episode of Off the Record is going to be on Apple Podcasts. Is going to be on Google Play in terms of their podcast. It's going to be on Spotify, and it will be on our YouTube. You're going to be able to get this episode with me and Jason Lee everywhere. Um, that's my announcement. Um, but you guys will see me tomorrow. We'll, we'll chat, all right? Drill, thank you. I only come here. I want to be consistent because, yo, bro. Yo, a little... Uh, uh, a little sentimental moment before I get off here. For everybody who has watched me, um, there's so many chat queens I've realized who have found out, out about me recently. There's just so many chat niggas who have supported me for this whole time. I, I love you and I adore you guys so much. You guys have given me a new inspiration in life in terms of passion. You know, it's it's a dream that you guys listen to just my opinion, just just me saying anything. So I just want to say I appreciate y'all. And um, if you wonder why I come back on a night like tonight, it's because y'all gave me life, all right? So I'll be back tomorrow. Um... It'll be a longer stream, but I appreciate you guys so, 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 so much. Um, I've been streaming so, I've been trying to be so consistent this last year, and I feel like we're on a ride. This shit feels good. And I love y'all. I love y'all. I love y'all. Hey, if you're watching me, please get in the Discord. This is our safe space. I love y'all and I'll be here tomorrow. Jose Garcia, thank you so much. I love you guys. I love you guys. Oh, oh, we're going to talk about, we'll talk about Bad Bunny's album tomorrow. But I just want to say I love you guys sincerely. You guys have, you know, changed the focus. I don't know if you guys notice, like, you know, even like when Adam talks about like live streaming, he's like, well, there's not enough money in it, right? He's like, like he used to do live streaming a lot. They barely do it now. It's like, and it was it was money based. You know, he's making a business decision. And when I go live now, I go live on so many of these platforms. Obviously, like salute to Rumble, Twitch, and YouTube. I don't get off a of stream and think how much money I made. I get off a of stream and I said, did I do that fucking thing? And. You guys are so fucking amazing. Um, I know I, I'm sound like a bitch right now because I'm like being a little bit emotional, but thank you guys. All right. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hopefully an earlier stream. If not, um, nah, it's going to be earlier stream. 12 to 3. All right. See you. I love you. Appreciate you. I belong to you. I hope you understand that without me or without y'all, I am nothing. I only exist because of the chat. Ain't nothing bigger than the chat, and I ain't even bigger than chat. I love you guys. I hope to entertain you and um, enjoy moments with you tomorrow, all right? Love y'all. Peace.